I'm gonna try... My CPU usage isn't that high. I'm gonna try recording from this point and see if it works, so I don't have to rip it off of fucking... Make it a little Twitch. easier. Yeah. That means I the know file... I'm still unconscious, but how you doing over there, Kazan? <laughs> Wouldn't you lose the, oh like, all the stuff we just did? Yeah, but that, I mean, to be fair, that was all recap and whatnot. For people that are watching these in succession, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> She's gonna cold open to I can't fucking believe Xanthric's dead. Yo, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking I mean, someone somebody starts with this me. session. <laughs> it's like, I'll watch the latest session to see how it who? Oh, oh. Well. Well, that's kind of a big spoiler. Oh shit. <laughs> um, I, perhaps I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> so what's our plan, guys? Are we uh are we gonna do we have any certain rights we want to go through with Xanthric? I'm unconscious as fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah, man, we gotta help Ashley, fuck. Um... Anybody? Uh, can anybody, like, just cure wounds Ashley, get Ashley up? I have a cure wounds. I can I can cure wounds Ashley. Ooh. Uh... Pra! Did I do it? Can I do it? Did I? Did I do it? I'm trying to. Did I eat the Cheerios? Um, I will do it. Uh, I believe in you. Bah! Nice. Ooh, that was nice. pretty good. You, um, you place, uh, your hand on Ashley's chest and you see, um, the wounds start to close. Um, her eyes kind of flutter for a moment. Uh, she doesn't seem to be regaining consciousness. Mm. What's wrong? I I don't know. Um, cure wounds should have should have healed her at least a little bit. <laughs> the cure wounds thing that I did. I it's the title as, of my as spell. A third Look at my spell. magic. <laughs> Can I roll um, Arcana or Investigation to see if there's something magical stopping Ashley from waking up? Mm. Uh, yeah, roll Arcana. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeet! Um, it seems like something is keeping her asleep. Uh, you're gaining from close examination... Just the faint essence of what you'd assume to be magic. You can't really tell exactly what kind. Um, as I don't think you have this spell to detect magic. No. Uh, but yeah, it seems like there's either some sort of enchantment that's keeping her asleep right now, or something's going on with her. This is out of character, because Hadrick wouldn't be smart enough to realize this, but um, it, it's probably residual from what happened earlier with the Revenants. The paralyzation mm -hmm. thing. Could be. Maybe. Um, I don't think Jolene would know that specifically, but uh, it seems like something magical is preventing her from waking up. Uh, either a spell or something that happened during the encounter with the, um, well, the fellows upstairs. Um, could, it, could it be this place? N no, it shouldn't be this place. We've been knocked out and gotten back up before. Mm. Many Briar times. and um, Jolene, you both noticed that uh, Ashley's eyes seem to be moving quite rapidly. Oh, fuck. It seems oh. Like she's... Is she uh, having a really bad nightmare? Oh, no. Don't worry, I'm used to this. <laughs> eyes <laughs> wide. Oh, eyes no. wide. She's possessed. Raise the sword. <laughs> Stabs Ashley. Take me, Hadrick. Fucking so do it. it seems <laughs> there was, so it seems there was never a choice at all. And then Hadrick. Grier's gonna try to like, kind of try to shake her awake. Come on, get up. Like I said, um, I believe it's something of the arcane nature. Uh, we should at least give her a couple. Hours of rest to see if the possible spell would wear off and go on from there. That seems like a good idea. In the meantime, we can see to Xanthric. Yeah. I th do you think she'd want to be awake for that? I don't think we have a choice. 
with how this world is and the constant roaming undead theme. I don't know if we have a time period with Xanthric before he joins the masses. I have a feeling that Ashley won't get overly sentimental about it. But we also don't really know what Xanthic would have wanted. Ashley knew him best. I mean, I don't know if they ever talked about anything like that, but, you know. Xanthric's I think dead. that there's... Yeah. <laughs> and there's probably only one option here if you don't want to... Uh, well, cremation, I imagine. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Live by the flame, die by the flame. The dead in Barovia. <laughs> the dead in Barovia have a tendency to stand back up. Xanthric's dead. The dead don't have wishes or desires. And I don't feel like Ashley's going to actually care. So we need to deal with Xanthric as soon as we can. You're right. We should probably get to it then. Kazan! <laughs> Pick um, up her dead friend! To acknowledge, Ashley told him to, to acknowledge the, the Hadric. body slowly turns around and looks at you. Could you take Had- or Padrick? Could you, like, pick me up and just take me out of Barovia? Please! Just get me out of here! Um, take me too! Uh, could you- could you carry Xanthric out to where that dragon statue was before? Um, the armor, um, walks towards the door and opens them, uh, mm -hmm. exposing the, uh, foggy, like, midnight black evening, uh, walks back and lifts up Sandra and begins to start walking towards the door. We should, uh, where should we leave Ashley while we're doing this? So we'll um... Look after her, make sure. I mean, she could ride on Zorala's back so we can keep an eye on her. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like a good idea. She can come with us. <laughs> she did always enjoy that kitty. She did. <laughs> <laughs> She's not dead, fuck you. She's unconscious, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, because that, that statue was on top of like um, a stone platform, right? Yeah, it's like a raised platform of stone. So it's pretty wide across, so if we were to cream at him there, there's no real chance of the fire spreading in any way we don't want to. Yeah. Any of us have fire other than Xanthric? We got torches. Uh, me? Okay. We have torches. It works. Okay. I also have cantrips. Fireball. Okay, no, no, cool. I mean, you still got my lit torch. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> and Hadric so. can just breathe fire on him. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, your excursion here's been the better part of an hour and a half, two hours. Um, so that torch is it's still going fairly well. Oh, it's only been an hour? Oh, uh, I'd say closer to two, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, we, everything went to coming, shit I real mean, quick. It's also with the oh, eight hour rest. Yeah, since our last rest, it's been like an hour. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes me feel a little Because I, I lit the torch after Over last time. Almost ten, if you count the rest and everything else. Mm -hmm. All right. If we're gonna If we're gonna do this, we should probably grab his stuff. Alright, what did Xanthric what? have? What? Uh, Holy shit. You know, I, I shouldn't be arguing with it at this point. <laughs> what 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 things did Xanthric have? Um, going into his backpack, he had uh, two books with different sigils on them. They seemed to be uh, those demonic tomes you mentioned, uh, I think. The day before, actually. Hmm. Um, what was ago? Uh, he's got a bedroll. It's like a effectively sleeping bag. Uh, he's got some jewelry. There's a mess kit. Uh, he has a, um, a little uh, bottle filled with a red fluid, you know, to be a uh, healing potion. Mm -hmm. um, oh, he had a healing potion. He was holding out on us. <laughs> uh, on fucking bastard. Crap. Uh, some hemp rope uh, about 50 feet coiled up uh, there's some change of clothes uh, his bow you've seen him use a couple he times he has a change of clothes I was thinking the same thing he has a change of clothes <laughs> he picked them up oh. Oh. someone coil him around with the hemp rope before we burn him 
Um, there is a set of thieves tools. Um, a tinder box, uh, a singular torch, uh, the cape from upstairs, and one water stone. Ooh, a okay. cape. And uh, his coin purse is around 100 gold or so inside. Ashley would want it. Oh! So no, uh, I, th I think that either Gryer or Hadric should probably take the healing potion. Mm. Probably. Wanna... I mean, we could probably just dump everything off of him and then just div divvy it up after he's burnt. Yeah, yeah we can handle it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you just hold him upside down and, like, shake him. <laughs> <laughs> the beard. Julie's like, this is disrespectful. As... Heaven's like, what? <laughs> what is the money, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Awful. I, this is a very serious thing. We're yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, we can take his stuff out, put it to the side. There's um, two metal arms kind of tugging on Xanthric as you're inspecting him. Oh. Uh, it's Kazan is just still trying to pick him yeah, up. G give us a moment until we get his things off of him, then take him out, please. He yeah. stops. Okay, mm -hmm. then we we do that whole shebang, taking his stuff out, putting it to the side. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get this over with, I suppose. Right. Yeah. As Kazan picks up Xanthric and starts to walk out the doors, I would like everyone other than Ashley and Xanthric to uh, step up for a moment, please. <gasps> All right. Um, oh. So. Okay. Here's what's going. You guys just want to bring uh, them. Although, so we're in the wrong chat, FYI. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell, you what, tell you what. Tell you what. Everybody yeah. oh, that. Yeah, Everybody that's not those people, go to Curse of Strahd. Um, Carrie, right. go make friends with Logan in the kitchen. Yeah, and I <laughs> will, I will take my headset off, and you just send me a message. I'll keep my chat with you, Aaron, open. You just send me a message whenever you're good. Okay. All right. Currently right. leaving. Bye, everybody. Bye. Not... I don't like you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the music off so no ill-fitting music plays while I'm gone. <laughs> Dear <laughs> Ashley, that's me. Oh God! Is that you, Metastopheles? Fuck it. Walk to the room. Yeah, He's like, I won't be a nuisance if I stood here. <laughs> 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 um, Ashley. Yes. Uh, you find yourself standing in a forest. Um, there's a long um, path. It's not stone. It's not a is just kind of the, the wear of the land as it seems to have been traveled quite frequently. Um, it's probably about three, four feet wide. Uh, seems fairly well traveled. There's not a lot of growth on it. Uh, you hear nature. Uh, distinctly not Barovia. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Immediate uh, thought from her. The, the sun is shining. Um, the you can hear the sounds of different animals from why there's a creek nearby, although not immediately visible. Um, you uh, you look around at your immediate surroundings, and it seems like you are picking berries, and um, you've got a basket and a few other things that seems to be weaved from different woods. Um, your hands look different. They don't look like your hands. They look um, uh, longer, more slender, um, and distinctly um, m much more masculine than what you're used to. I will look over my hands like, whoa, what? You've got a, a, the slightest bit of hair on your forearms. Um, you're wearing a, this, this long tunic of uh, almost like a green embroidered, it's like a cotton weave from different fabrics. Um, very around... surprised at this. <laughs> you 
hear the woods go silent for a brief moment and then a large shadow passes overhead and you hear screaming two voices Um, you without any willful control of yourself begin sprinting uh, towards the sound you come upon relatively about 10, 15 seconds of sprinting hello vehicle Uh, 10 (laughs) seconds of sprinting you come across a cabin uh, standing alone in the middle of the woods uh, and out front you see a massive dragon oh it's black scales ever so slightly shimmering in the sunlight it's forward claw is currently impaling an elvish woman in front of you um, the bile dripping out of its mouth, burning the ground at its uh, beneath it. You hear a small cry from the doorway of the cabin, and you see a a younger elf watching on in horror. And as the dragon kind of takes everything in, it looks to you back to the cabin and unleashes its breath weapon and acid covers the front of the building you don't even see her go she vanishes the building itself quickly losing its structural support and collapsing in do I do I have anything on me do I have anything to be like fuck you giant dragon uh, a voice comes out but it's not your voice. No. It's uh, a voice you've become very familiar with. You hear the voice of Xanthric. Uh, I'll be younger. Um, not as scratched, not as um, sometimes crazed. Uh, screaming out in abject horror. And as the dragon brings itself to bear on him, you turn and run. You feel like you're running for hours, almost as though you're running for years. You you feel the breath in your chest getting heavier and burning, and you it's like you're drowning. You just can't get in any oxygen. You trip and fall, uh, making contact with the ground as this black shadow comes to bear overhead. And when you look up, you're not in the forest anymore. You're in a a village. Uh, You see several people with carts pulling things around. You see houses being built. It seems like it's uh, a new community, like it's almost a settlement group. You see um, people are happily singing away. Um, You see uh, the darkened wood around. It's definitely closer to what you'd expect from here, but it's still sunny. The skies are blue. Um, There's still animals nearby. You see someone playing with a cat. You see children actively playing games. Uh, And it seems like a a strong community is being built. Um, Observing the world around you, you... You... Don't see an amazing amount of. You don't see anyone you'd recognize. You're, you're no longer Xanthor looking at yourself. You're now much, uh, much smaller, much more feminine. Uh, you see uh, horses coming along a main road. This one paved. Um, the community itself built off the side in this kind of um, cleared out field on the side of the road. Um, the horses coming by uh, all have armored soldiers riding past. You Most want, of them ignore. Do you want to mute uh, Logan? Uh, there we go. Um, most of them armored. 
they have uh, various degrees of rank displayed, long swords at their side, some of them carrying spears or javelins on their back. The um, the regal of them, or the, rather the demeanor of the uh, knights passing by is much more dour than the community you seem to be surrounded by. The time seems to pass quickly as you watch some houses being built. You see people building houses out of the side of different carts that were brought in with different supplies. Um, and you see a figure being brought in uh, by a lone horseman now, uh, the opposite direction. Uh, young, probably mid-twenties, uh, a sleek, pale face uh, with uh, sharp, sharp features in almost every aspect. It's got a, a fairly exquisite plate mail on and uh, a long sword exclusively as a weapon on his side. And he's got a arrow jutting out of his stomach as he lays back against the side of this horse. A Another fully armored figure's complexion um, hidden by the visor of his helmet uh, riding with him brings him off of the horse back and begins calling for help you see the community kind of respond in kind people bring him in and they usher him into one of the nearby standing tents do I go along with them? you don't Oh. The last thing you see as um, they bring him inside, you get a very clear look at his face, and you recognize this man. Uh, this is a slightly healthier looking, albeit almost identical, um, image to Strahd von Zarevich. Oh. The, the one laying down? Yes, the one that's been shot with an arrow. Oh. Okay. And your eyes open. Uh, feel free to join everyone else. Uh, okay. I know I have to speak with Xanthor. Oh. What if I want to speak with Xanthor? <laughs> by the way, just in case you were confused, is it you, you were also watching through all of this. He says almost. Yeah. Yeah, you were you were present alongside. Well, I will I will leave then. Goodbye, my boy Xanther. Mm -hmm. It was cool being in your body for a second and gaining all that trauma. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Xanthric, uh, you find yourself. Um, Torn from the dream space that you just witnessed with Ashley, you find yourself standing uh, in the middle of the hall, oh, watching everyone walk away with you. Um, mm. Your body still bleeding slightly, uh, the fatal wound dealt. It quickly comes clear, your current situation. But it's not what you'd normally expect out of dying. You feel just present in this space. There's no... There's nothing pulling you to an afterlife. There's nothing calling you to um, a god. There's nothing. You're just here. Do I find that troubling? It's... While you've never had a specific god that you would worship um, on a regular basis, there was no one you declared a specific loyalty to. You you were aware of them. You were clear, like, yeah, they exist. And in death, you would almost always expect one of them to collect it. The Raven Queen would let you pass. I'm going to close my door really quick. Yeah, I can hear them laughing. Um, you'd expect the raven yeah. to usher you into death uh, her kind embrace directing you to your proper place in the afterlife where you could stand beside the other elves, the Seldarine the elvish gods or you could meet with Pelor, the god of light you know there are 
stories you've heard where it's supposed to be an experience. You're supposed to go somewhere. Even if it's somewhere bad, you're supposed to go somewhere. Yeah. But you just feel this absence. Um, as the sinking void kind of sinks in that you aren't going anywhere, uh, settles in, you begin to hear a voice. What is it that you desire? These whispers coming in from no specific location. They seem to be ever-present from every direction at once. The, um, the shadows almost growing darker as they speak. Who? Who's there? Who said that? We have many names. What is it that you desire? And what I desire, I, I want to destroy all dragons for what they did to me, Ours. what they did to my family. We bring many gifts, but for each gift there is a price. What you is see? this price? shadows building up in front of you into a outstretched hand that hangs before you. It's like a bit hesitant. Mm-hmm. Like, this, this seems pretty pretty not on the level. <laughs> um, what uh what is this price you speak of? They remain silent. Mm. <laughs> For each gift, a price. Well, I... Whatever this price is, I will pay it on one condition that my friends here don't hurt them. I, I know they seem to have killed me, but I didn't really give them much choice. That was my mistake, not theirs. The hand extends towards you. He's, whether or not this is true, he takes that as acceptance of his terms and he takes the mm-hmm. hand. The hand grips you tightly. It hurts. It, it, you have no physical form, but it feels like it's crushing bone. Um, as the shadow begins to extend along your ethereal form, it, it covers. It begins to cloak you in this blackness. It grips you pours itself inside of you and you can feel right where your heart would be it's just this void I'll be right back I need to get everyone to come back hey oh damn you just want to move on up to uh Christmas Strat I'll drag everyone else up alright oh Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. It's all over. It's all over. Everyone's Are you dead. Here and I am. The, at the very end, at the very end, the the, the mirror hello. cat looked back at him without the regular cat looking. You. Yep. Right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> surprise. No one surprise. Oh. 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 How is everybody? Oh. It's a bunch of buttheads. Hadrick well, turns and wonders button. why nobody's followed him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That's new. <laughs> heck! 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 That's You'd all be progressing out. This is happening <laughs> simultaneously with you leaving. Oh! Mm. Back to you again. Oh! Back to you again. We just want to say hi. Yay! Oh, oh, hang out. Wait a minute. How'd my boy go? 
Is in the arm of the uh, They're heading towards the destroyed statue. I'm going oh. to ignore the chat for a while so that anything responding to stuff that we weren't here for goes away and I don't read it. I'm not allowed to look at the chat good, anyway, Logan. That's not really... That really doesn't really apply to me. I can't really get spoilers. Mm. And I have to I'm check the notifications and such. Yeah, yeah but... But yeah, I have no issue because people are seeing what you guys see. There's nothing yeah. behind the table they can get. Yeah, the issue with seeing chat carry is that the DM stuff is on like my end in my games. I'm just a player here. Oh. What am I gonna spoil for myself? Hadrick's stats. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, as uh, as you bring them out, Ashley's eyes flutter open. Um. With a, a sharp gasp and a, like a half scream, uh, ah! she bolts up like that. Like that. <laughs> I'm on a kidder. <laughs> <laughs> flail, flail, flail falls off Panther. <laughs> Cry here. <gasps> you got Ooh. tiny for a sec. Oh no. Hey, yo, it is me, Tiny Grow, uh, no. and I'm here. <laughs> I'm Tiny Grow. <laughs> I just like finally... just like scuttle to my feet, like really, like really, like hush it, like like like, 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 like huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're awake. That's sooner Ashley. than I thought it would be. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was out. I guess. <laughs> you see Hadrick like leaning over Xanthric's body with a torch, which, if what just happened to you didn't happen, would probably look real bad. Uh, Hadrick. <laughs> Hmm. Um, Xanthric eyes open. What? Xanthric what? eyes are open. Uh, but where normally the white of his pupils are is just a void. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So I just look over first I'm... off and it's like, what are you doing to Xanthric? And then this happens probably. <laughs> I'm real sorry about this. Oh, he's about to stab you, boy. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, I'm... I, that wasn't great. I can't rationalize not attacking him! <laughs> the fuck is happening right I'm, now? Uh, he's, he's still not moving. Uh, no. So yeah, you impale him. <laughs> Just let him on fire! Oh god! Things in Barovia. What are you doing? <laughs> the dead in Barovia come back to life. It's just happening quicker than we thought it would. The dead? He died. The river and then they knocked you both out and they said we had to choose and we... It, it, it was either one of you, I... One just... hand now clawed. <laughs> circles itself around the blade inside his abdomen and it kind of pulls itself closer. Uh, and uh... inside your ears, Hadrick, you hear... For every gift, a price. And he rips himself back. Um, <laughs> large, blackened, leathery wings extending out of his back. Oh! And he's going to start flying. <gasps> oh, Did you all right. That? Uh -oh. That's oh, not a Xanthric no. thing that I see right there. I was very <laughs> shocked. But oh. then immediate go into battle mode. I want to shoot an Eldritch Blast. I want to shoot an way. arrow at it. Dikos, yeah, guys, arrow. guys, guys, fucking okay. orderly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's going to fly straight up. Uh, anyone who's firing their ranged attacks, go uh, nuts. Bam! I, I, will, I will if I can. Uh, I'm still unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to turn on job shooter. Um... Yeah. I'm still unconscious, Aaron. <laughs> you, do you not have that effect programmed in yet, Carrie? It should be on her. Oh, yeah, there, there, there. Bam, there we go. Yeah. I'll shoot All this right. one now. And I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna throw a holy hey. water flask. Whiff. Ah, oh, that wasn't great. But whiff, nonetheless. <laughs> um, the holy water streaking wide. Um, Damn you. The, what do we have going here? Everything. Short bow comes out. Firebolt, longbow. So two arrows pierce into him. Um, this hollow <sighs> escaping as um, each one, like almost, it, it, it hits, but it feels like there's no mass to the actual contact. Mm. Um, 
And as each puncture appears, shadow begins to drip out of either um, wound themselves. The Eldritch Blast nails him, center of mass. It kind of blasts back, almost begins to fall, and catches itself. Oh, that's not it. If one, uh, that, I get two bolts. <laughs> that one's fast. That one's fast. Holy shit, I have one. Wide. That one whips, though. <laughs> uh, everyone can roll their damages. Did the firebolt hit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, your firebolt streaking in. Take that one, yeah, ever, Santa. Ever. Wow, we're all really, uh, we're all really biffing this, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at all that ones. Uh, what damage Aaron, is he? Aaron, I'm pretty sure I know, but you said my flask didn't hit, right? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> one, one, two, one, one, and then look. Oh, five. Good job, Jolene. <laughs> One, six, three. Leave me Hopefully alone. Properly. <laughs> oh my god. Well. And it starts to fly away. Uh, How far away is he? <laughs> is he within uh, 120 up, feet? <laughs> it went 60 feet straight up, and it's moving 60 feet away. Uh, if you're gonna so see he's still blast, within 120 feet, I hear. It's, yeah. You're Another Eldritch Blast! Another oh. Firebolt! <laughs> Oh my god! I, <laughs> what's the range Damn. of my crossbow? Yeah, I can, I can I can shoot him. Um, uh, I with disadvantage moving. though. Where are you here? No one's taking my Xanthric um, from me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I my mouse is being fucky. Here, yeah, I'd get another let's one. All, <laughs> let's all let's all not talk over each other and particularly Aaron. Ah <laughs> no. uh, fuck! <laughs> really, really drops the ball here, guys. <laughs> Like, you know what? Uh, this isn't on me. Oh! I killed him once already. <laughs> now it's our turn. Yeah. Now we're all in this together. Um, <laughs> one of those blasts hit. You're all damaged for it. Good. Okay, that's already on there. Um, he flies off into the night. It's at that distance. Yeah, he's invisible to all of you at this point. Because it is, after all that, yeah. Like, he would have been almost impossible to see for most of you around there, and for Devin, he would be just dipping out of your sight. Which... Damn it. Uh, Aaron. Yeah. Did that look like oh, that the one. thing we saw um, with the mist we saw when we cured Alessa? No. Okay. No, this, this looked... Uh, the the one you saw with her was like this kind of almost like a, a it was a weird mix of smoke and sludge look to it. I think uh, think the boar at the beginning of Princess Mononoke. It had this kind of physicality to it. It seemed to be moving and writhing on its own. This was literally as though he was bleeding shadow. Oh. <laughs> and he vanishes. <sighs> what the hell was that? I knew things came back from the dead, but that that didn't seem like that didn't seem normal, even for this well, place. We haven't really seen what people coming back from the dead here looks like. Yeah. Oh gosh! For all we know, that might have been similar to that person in the church basement. Yeah. But I saw a lot. Of, I saw a lot of people die whenever we were back at back at that other town, and nothing happened like this. Well, Strahd brought us all here because he thought it'd be fun to toy with us. Maybe there's special circumstances for us. So, Xanthric died? And yeah. that was... probably Strahd? Yeah. It was his influence, at least, I'm betting. <laughs> All we can hope for is that Xanthric's not actually still in there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. In any case, if we see him again, we owe it to him to kill him. Yeah. He definitely wouldn't have wanted to become that. <sighs> Puts away crossbow. Picks up sword, which... Eh, no, he didn't have a sword out. He threw the flask. Is that... Can we just assume that flask broke? I'm guessing... When it, uh, yeah, yeah. to throw 60 feet up and then miss, yeah, it, it would have hit the ground. Yeah, yeah. alright, goodbye, Flask. Oh. 
I mean, mm. oh. where we can get more, but... I mean... The bottle's broken. Yeah. I don't know if Xanthric was still in there. I had a, a dream. A dream? About what? Him. Yo, guys in the background? Sorry. <laughs> Chase, Chase was just asking a question and we were just verifying. He was asking if uh, the sword that Hadric, like put into Xanthric if it was still in there. <laughs> we were like, oh, no, 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 no. You got no. off of it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Flies away with Grey Winter. It's like, you bring me back! <laughs> 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 I had a dream about him. Yeah. And also about some other things, I guess, but... What kind of other things? <sighs> Why did we have to go in that door? <laughs> she just puts a hand up on her head, like, on her head, like, Ugh. I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> Xanthric, he just... We went upstairs and... <sighs> we all hear this? Yeah. It's, it's like a strange. howl? Yeah. Okay. I... What time is it, Eric? I think we should get uh, inside. Middle of the night. Okay. I'm not Probably sure exactly. Right. Great. If we let's, do go back let's... inside, let's try to lock those doors that lead to the outside. And also put Kazan out here to guard them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking about keeping Kazan with us with that big danger that we just went through. And already losing Xanthric. Looks at Kazan. He's animated armor, Ashley. <sighs> I know. I was thinking he could help protect us. Right. Not a bad idea. Either way, he'd be guarding the entrance. Ashley, okay. I could... I could punch him to death right now. <laughs> we'll take one shot, then. Mm -hmm. He'll take one shot then. One shot that won't hit us. Right? He could. If he's coming with us, he's more useful in guarding downstairs, at least. If he was down here, he'd just take one shot as well. Hmm. Right. I say we make him go into places first. Mm. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. She just kind of like looks away when she says that. Like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, <I'm fine. sighs> we should get inside, lock the doors, bar them if we can't. The other entrances to this. Oh. He looks over this away. <laughs> I'm not yeah, sure what barring the doors is actually going doors. to do. Yeah, yeah we need... Doors yeah, funny. yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> uh, the wings of bats you start flying, maybe 10, 20. Yeah, let's get inside. <laughs> out of the, out of the building? Oh, God. Bye! Oh, gone in here. <laughs> oh, hi, heat? Did oh no, Kalala's outside. Which... No, she's not. See... No, no. Did we see the direction in which that in which Xanthric flew? Uh, he would have flown south from your current position. Fly home. That's where you're going. Fly home, Xanthric. <laughs> Live your best life. <laughs> or on life. Oh no. So we need to. Uh, we could go to the room that has those giant barrels, those uh, giant kegs. We could try to like put them up against the doors that we can't lock them to try to. Giant barrels? Hmm. Yeah, the, the oh, room yeah, we those. found the elf in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can manage to, like, roll those or move them, we can put them in front of the doors. I don't think they'll stop anybody from getting in, but at we least that way... Uh, we, that's the next step. But if... If, yeah. if, um, if anybody opens the doors and we put them right in front, it'll at least make a, a bit of noise so that we'll know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I guess oh. I'll check this door, like, the main door, and see if there's any way to lock it. Before we do that, mm -hmm. there's um, also there's a sliding bolt on the front. Oh, we good! Will sliding bolt that. <laughs> Are there before before doing this, Hadrick will in investigate these as well to see if there's any locks on these. 
Those? Yeah. No, unfortunately, uh, those ones don't look Interior like doors, that makes sense. Shit. We could also put this... We could drag this table. Um, we could, like, angle it and drag it through and put it in front of a couple of the doors. Or the chairs. Mm. Um... There's a lot of wreckage. There's also beds up here that we could prop up against the doors. Those might be easier to move than the barrels. Mm, Kazan, help with the table. Hmm. Hey, since he's doing that, Hadrick will also go and do the table. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the middle region. Uh, which... Does Kazan have the higher strength? Or do I have the higher athletics? Which which of us is better at that? Probably me. Uh, um, well, between hey the two, there, you've been more consistently we talk about doing this. them. You haven't really seen him lift too many things, it, but it is a set of armor. There's not a lot of muscle mass to it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stand should here I... with Kilala while you guys do your thing, and it's just, you should know, I... I'm still hurt from before, and just, should like, I just get should I just... Kilala. I'll help him on this end. Should I just roll <laughs> with... Right. Roll with advantage. Yeah. Thank you. Hugs, Panther. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's, let's take a sec. Rolling with advantage, nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> Parts of it snap and break as a bit of it's kind of waterlogged and old, but the the table itself, you move and, what is that, 20 feet? Mm -hmm. I think you can probably, <clears throat> you can't get it quite in front of both doors, but you could either wedge it like here to about there. Or you yeah. could go completely through and just have it cover one of these doors. Why don't we... Go the shorter path. We'll cover like that section if we can, like there, um, and then we can try to. Actually, no. If we're gonna move the beds, which might be the better thing to move, they're closer to this door. So why don't we take it over here? Looking at some of the doors. Uh, roll me investigation. Roger. Anyone who's looking at trying to block these doors. Nat twenty. Uh, separate. Oh my god! Uh, god! What yes! the fuck? The doors themselves, while they don't have any locks, do seem like they would fit well to being barred as some of the hooks, like, as they come out, the handles and everything. You could rest something between them so they can't open inward. Um, like table legs? Uh, yeah, those would function. Or um, if you, I don't know, broke metal pieces and blocked them away. Any sort of barring. <laughs> hmm. The statues that are along the walls, do they have any, like, are they carrying any, like, weapons or whatnot, or these? Uh, they are, but they're actually one solid piece of stone each. Oh, Could wow. we maybe, like, crack off the hands that are holding them to move them? Uh, sure, roll, um... Breaking those? Uh, I'd say roll an attack. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Whatcha? Smash them off the side. So close that to hits. 19. Holy shit. Also, I'm going to change my thing here. Ah, fuck. Eh. I'm trying to take the... Because we, we revisited how dual wielding works before. I'm trying to change my stuff around to work properly. There we go. Um... Will that, if we're not moving the table directly at this point, um, would that Athletics 20 help at all? Um, oh, that hits. So just roll me, roll me damage. Roger, dodger. Wow. Murder stroke hit it. Oh. Yeah, you smash one of the statues and its arm, um, <clears throat> old and stone, well, rigid, uh, under the sudden impact, almost turns to dust as the, uh, the long piece kind of clatters the floor, bits of it chipping off. All right, we can, again, even if it doesn't stop anybody from getting in, it can at least, uh, we'll hear it if it snaps. We'll put that across one of the doors. That leaves us with, what, two more doors to deal with? Or do we want to... block that one, and then all the way to most of that one where they have to push by it. Um, uh, I think we... we yeah, are no, that we one. While I'm doing that, Grier, do you want to try to break a... Like a spear off the other statue? Sure, I'll try it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so I guess I'll just roll an attack or something? Do an attack. I'll just, yeah, go up here to this one. Ha-ba. Ha-ba. It's... Ha-ba-ba. Ha-ba-ka-da-ba-ba. 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 Hey, Take that. Fucking... <laughs> 
spear. Eleven. Yep. You uh, you bring the blunt end of your rapier into it, smash it. It cracks, and for a moment, it doesn't look like it's actually going to break on that one, and then just and it clatters off to the side. Neat. As it slowly kind of spiders its way out. All right. And then I guess yeah, you're you're doing that door, Hadrick. So I guess I'll take this one over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then we bar we put the door in front of or the table in front of that one. Yeah. So we, in theory, we're about as safe as we can manage right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there that... are also entrances out back. Mm-hmm. There are. Uh, there's also if they can fly or climb. The um, corresponding oh, rooms that are above here are also broken on the outside, so they could get in from the upper floor. We're just mostly trying to get them to make noise. <laughs> yeah, um, like there's like if we if we look at it, that right there that I'm. Why does that not stay? My my arrow's been right there. They're getting in there no matter what we do. Like we cannot stop them from getting in through that part right there, on the second floor. So. Oh, on the second floor. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. If they can climb or they can... We heard bat wings. If they can fly, then that's it. So the best we can do is hope that we can, like, rest down here and then proceed through this place and hope to deal with our business, I think. Because I don't think there's any surefire way to keep them out of here. Yeah. Speaking of, do we want to... uh, do we want to risk a short rest to get our abilities back and throw some HD around? I know some of us need it. I have a tiny hut I can use. <laughs> I mean, we, yeah. Um, yeah. After I guess after that we'd go up and start talking with the dudes. We don't even necessarily have to talk to them right now. I mean, we could just walk by them. We could the werewolves try. kill. <laughs> <laughs> Revenants versus werewolves, round one. <laughs> I'm just saying that we don't necessarily need to bother them unless we have to. I mean, wouldn't we want to, like, know more what's happening yeah. with Anthric if they were willing to tell us? And also maybe if we could convince them of the situation, it's like, oh, maybe can we borrow your treasure or something, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, in the meta. <laughs> I mean, Patrick was like, do you think you'd be up to talk? So... That didn't mean immediately. Well, mm-hmm. there's, still a bu- there's still a bunch of things we can do in here other than talk. Yeah. Huh? Is there how much it, like? <clears throat> there's like other floors people. we haven't even went. Yeah, to. there's there's a, okay, another there? map. Oh. Okay, yep. There that. he that was the first door on that floor with a long hallway with at least two <laughs> other like doors in it. Oh. There's, <laughs> there's lots to do. <laughs> well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call up you guys and say that I'm and say that I'm almost ready to cast the spell while you guys are doing yeah. that. I'm guessing I was casting. We can ritual. we can figure out exactly what we want to do after we rest at the very least, like while we're resting. Okay. Is that fine, Aaron? Like while they're yeah. doing that, can I can I've been preparing to cast it as a ritual? Yeah, that would have taken because it's what ten. Yeah, it would have been like eleven minutes to cast that. You would have plenty of time. So if those werewolves, it's if it's them again and they come in, they see the hut. It'll just be a case of like again. <laughs> when are I they not using this? I got as close to the door as I could. I wanted Ashley to have like kind of mapped it out to see like if she could get the hut as close to the door as possible. Oh, that's smart. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's give you a pointer. That Circle. way. Open Again, if she had enough time to cast it as a ritual, I'm guessing she would have to been like, able to, uh, to like so, map it out almost. Do those doors open in or out? Those ones, um, they there's swing. There's a bar here. I think it's in. They swing inward. Yeah. In that case, yeah, the hut may actually, if they somehow broke in, the hut would actually prevent them from opening all the way. Devin, Kazan, quick, get in here before it, it's and we'd, we'd Come sure in. as shit hear it. Word. Yeah, we would. We'd see it. Unless it actually makes the inside dark. Yeah. I mean, she can make it so we can see out, but they can't see in, right? Yeah, they can, you can't see in no matter what. She can make the inside dark to help sleep. but uh, she can also just lose We'll just put there. up curtains or something. I ain't gonna fucking do that. So, <laughs> should we take a short rest and do what we can with HD? Because if we take a long rest, we're putting ourselves at a lot more risk. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's okay, guys. I can do a song of rest. Hmm. 
Um, Actually, come on. How, how bad are some of y'all looking? You're like the most hurt. <laughs> Worst what? damage on all of us appears to be Kazan. Uh, Ash Ashley has 40 damage. The armor has 33, and I have 20. We could probably deal with most of that through HD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Make sure to heal up I have a whole six wounds, you guys. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm go ahead. Dead. I'm gonna go ahead and use five A. I'm gonna go ahead and use six HD. I'm using all of them. Do it. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh, Oh, good start. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have as many wounds as I thought I did. Sorry, I take that back. I'll use three as a punishment, <laughs> but I was looking at my... I was looking at my total HP. Because uh, I'm not used to seeing that there. I thought I right, had, that's... I thought I had like, 50 wounds to get rid of. That is oh. all good. Alright, I'll get another one gone, because I was going to overkill, but that would be a lot more than I would use if I knew the right number. Mm. I will probably use all six of mine. <laughs> That's you fair. kinda probably need it. One. Nice! Hey. Hell yeah! Nice! Hell yeah! Hey. Fucking good! Damn! Four, yes! Five, Ooh! Six. There you go! Uh, That's just oh, 40. You! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, it, might like... been, it might have been 41. Might have been 41. Alright, Kazan, how many HD do you want to use? <laughs> how okay. many HD can Kazan use, eh? Kazan stands idly. <laughs> Ah, oh, no. I would like Someone to use... cast mending on him. I would like to use one HD, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. Use that HD up. Ooh. Yay! Yeah. I have no wounds! How about Kilala? I was gonna say, can I heal Kilala? Mm-hmm. How do I do? Uh, how many HD do you want her to use? She has uh, 68. Oh, yeah. She's got 68. Uh, probably get away with two. No. Yeah, I'd probably get away with two. Two or three. three. Yeah, three, three. three would probably guarantee full recovery. We'll do three. And then mm -hmm. Devin's gonna do one. Alright, roll 3d8. 3d8. There you go. Hell nice. yeah! That's, that's for Kalala. And then Devin's gonna do... Juan! 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 Nice. Nice. Now I can count to Juan. Juan! Stop it. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. goddamn El Nombre. El Nombre. Writing numbers in the desert sand. El Nombre. Everyone sans Kazan is uh, up to four. Because I don't need because I don't need to use the song of rest, I'm just gonna say in character she starts using the song of rest and then she just like kinda like slowly like just travels off with it and then just Takes the pamphlet out of her mouth and just sits beside of her like I don't really feel like it. <laughs> Someone's also more weird. affected by the dead than I thought she'd be. She's mad at herself. That's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's again like as soon as she saw Xanthric like cut, turn undead and fly away, she's like, "Oh fuck that!" <laughs> <laughs> for for Hadric, that entire experience was he's dead and he, the dead don't have feelings. He gets up. Oh no. He's dead and has feelings. We have to kill him. <laughs> I don't understand this. This has it's to go. Like, oh, especially okay. since, especially since, whenever you guys explained it, it's like we had a choice. It's like we had to make a choice, and she's like, "Oh," and they chose me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now she's like, "Okay." So much more guilty. Like, um. Should we see. do the Xanthric stuff? Do we do that? Yeah, that would all be laid out effectively right around uh, you guys. Could you, um, could you, uh, hit the short rest thing for the group so we get our abilities back? Yes. Thank you. Yes! 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 I want that action surge so I can use it on some nonsense thing again. <laughs> you can find that smoke <laughs> method on that. I'm just fucking... Give me another ghost. I'll action surge trying to punch out the ghost again. <laughs> Oh no, I don't get my spells back on a short rest move. Yeah. All right. Indeed, buddy boo. All right, guys, so... Do we want to explore around... I mean, okay, assuming we get out of the hut and the, there aren't wolves surrounding us. Um, <laughs> do we want to explore more upstairs, which is what I'm for, obviously. 
or do we want to go and talk to the Revenants? I feel like if anything tries to go through that hallway that's not supposed to be here, they'll probably come out and bap it anyways, so it might be safe upstairs. I mean, I don't see why we couldn't just do a little more exploring and then talk to them. Mm -hmm. If these yeah. people really do serve that dragon, then I don't think that they serve Strahd, so anything following us for after with being with Strahd will probably be at, be at ends with them. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Or be at uh, odds, my bad. <laughs> I'll, uh, when we go upstairs, and I guess this, yeah, um, I can pop my head in and tell them that there might be people from representing Strahd coming into the castle and that we are not with them and that we, we are not with those guys. <laughs> You're not affiliated with me. And if they hear what sound like pause <clears throat> in large numbers coming by that door, then, you know, you may fire when ready. They seem like they were reason reasonable people until they erupted in flame. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> Jolene just cringes. Hadr Hadric glances over in the direction of the first revenants we beat and just to himself is like, I wonder if they could have been talked to. Mm. Let's not mention those people. To let's the other not. Ones. I agree. Let's not mention that that <laughs> happened. Oh, what? Strahd <laughs> killed your friends downstairs? <laughs> what? How they, awful! Then those, we've wasted enough time. Those revenants come back to life. They come upstairs. Intruders! They attacked us! What? Strahd shapeshifted into us and attacked you? <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's crazy! <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, consensus, we want to go upstairs? Yeah. Do we want to sort out this stuff first, or...? Oh yeah. Uh, no, doing up Xanthic stove. Um. I now feel far what less. What was there? <laughs> uh, the two tomes, uh, each comparing <laughs> many pictures of different demons and monsters. Uh, there seems to be a lot of squiggling in them. It doesn't seem to be a language uh, recognizable on a is, glance. Is it uh, his possible? Backpack and, is it possible uh, to drop his uh, inventory into the party sheet parcel? Function because then we could just look at it all oh, quickly. Where party sheet that way we can just uh, there's like an inventory part of it where you can like drop items to put it in there and yeah, then spread them out. There we go. Silly buddy. Ashley already knows what she wants, but she's not sure if people will let her have them. <laughs> Do you want the tomes? I want the tomes. <laughs> I don't want them, so... He would want you to have them. It's like, especially because there's writing in them. She's like, I want to learn this language and read what Xanthric wrote. <laughs> this might be interesting, especially with the things that I dreamed about! <laughs> That's fair. Velvet um... curtain slash cape. Was that a curtain that he just wrapped around himself, or is it an actual cape? Uh, was it a was curtain. a cape from upstairs. Remember when he saw Devin's head? He ripped down the opposite one. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Ooh, a spear. Ooh, studded leather. Mm. A spear? Mmm. <laughs> okay. So the only, <laughs> the only things I want... ...are the potion and the spear. But I also want the spear. You're a ranger. I know it's fine. <laughs> you just want it because Hadrick wanted it. It's like a studded leather. The studded leather is cool, but I don't like where it's coming from. So I'm not gonna say that. No fair. It's studded yep. fake leather, Devin. You're fine. Will anybody? It's faux leather. Will anybody fight me on the spear? No. Nah. No. Going once. I already had I already had studded leather, so I don't need that. Going twice. <laughs> Adric's got a new weapon. That's Yay! Funny. I want his I want his short bow because I have a crossbow and I want the short bow. That's right. I want two ranged weapons. That's fine. <laughs> hey, no, that works. Yeah. Use different ammo at least. Mm -hmm. Dibs on the jewelry. Oh, <laughs> of course, the bird wants the shiny. Bitch! No, I'm kidding. I was gonna say fucking Jolene would be. I mean, it's cheap jewelry, though. I I there mean, Jolene's are, to go with The short bow. There are six arrows. I will take those six arrows. Will anybody fight me on the potion? Roar? Um. Aaron, do you remember where the jewelry came from? 
The jewelry? You got that in the uh, first building you guys ever came from. Uh, uh, yeah, it was in, it was sure in the one of the master bedrooms. I believe. Sorry, Eric, were you agreeing or were you? did you say you wanted the potion? I was, I was saying that you kind of tend to go down a lot. So it might do for someone else to have the potion so they can get you up or something. Mm. I mean, if I, with this party set up, anyone else that's getting me up is probably going to do it with spells. Uh, you know, that's fair. Doesn't matter. And also, I, I, being, I'm able usually... to, being able to bonus action heal myself would be, you know, prevent the going down. Actually, you know what? Good point. That's Yay. fair. Potion! That's all I want. Oh, and the rope just... to hang myself. I'm just taking the tones. <laughs> I'm just taking the tones and the short bow, and uh, you know what? If no one else can take, it, uh, Gr uh, do you, uh, Grier, do you want the thieves' tools? I, I mean, want I already the have a set of thieves. I want the thieves' tools. Damn it! No, no, no! You can have them, Devin. That's fine. Well, no, but it makes sense for Briar. He's I will note. I already have them. I will note oh, okay. that neither of you know how to use. I know, them. but it's <laughs> cool. I mean, yeah. I could. I could try to. Could I try to teach them how to do it? Uh, I would take a decent amount of time because they've never it's, had it, and it's not like you yeah, have a place but, to I practice. Mean, I don't need it, so <laughs> it's it's like learning a skill. That's that that's yeah. like you could teach them, but it's like an over it's like it learning online. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. But I could like liter the tools. Here's liter the thing, though: if if we keep it, then we can say if any of us ever decide to multi-class into uh, into a, a rogue, we can say that throughout the course of the time in Barovia, he was gradually teaching us. Aww, yeah, right, like remember the time when y'all were like, "Hey, Grier, teach us thieves can't," and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> when I find the time, I guess." <laughs> Such a good boy. Uh, I guess I'll take the rope, and then we'll use the tinder box to set the torch on fire, burn the cape. Um, <laughs> hey, th those of you taking things, just drag them onto your sheet from the okay. from oh, the party right. sheet. What are we doing with the demonic tomes? Are we giving them to Ashley or Jolene? I think they should go to Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think that's the best thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, does she want those books? I, I do. Mean, she has a thing <laughs> books. I Ashley, do want Ashley, those books. Take your things from the party sheet, Ashley. I, I'm trying. That's not letting me. Damn it, Damn for... grab them and... I will be transparent and say I don't want to read anything he was reading. That's fair. Um, um, drag, I'm drag I'm them. Bullshit in your bag, guys. Guys. I was right. yeah. Um, so are you dragging them onto your inventory? I think there you go. I yeah. Uh, um, yeah, you drag the dragon head from the party sheet onto your inventory. Yeah, and... I was trying to grab it from the part right below it. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> uh, I think I got them. Although, I don't... oh, there they are. Yeah, I have both of them. Yeah, and, and then the short the bow. Short bow. Could, I... Could I? What if I like wore the cape? It would just like. <laughs> could I wear the cape? Do it! Oh my god! Yeah, there's no clasp or anything. It's uh, it's just a curtain, but you could tie it easily. I'm gonna like wear it around myself, like so it's wait. draped around like one. Over, wait, like, you one would arm need a little bit of No, wait. What kind of jewelry is the cheap jewelry? Could there it doesn't be? Doesn't matter. It's Grier's now. But there's not a cheap brooch in there. <laughs> There is no brooch in there, no. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Hadrick is going to, Hadrick is going to, uh, when he finds time, uh, remake this could so I, that he can wear it like a I mantle. Help with, uh, could I oh, help with the... Oh, that's slightly more... Is, 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 there a cla <laughs> is there some sort of clasp in my disguise kit? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can say you can find a clasp in there. There you go. <laughs> What'd you say, Izzy? <laughs> I'm so happy about this. <laughs> what, what, I'm just looting your corpse. Um, you're happy about you're happy about the cape or just this whole situation? Yeah, about the cape. I did on a whim, and now it's like I will wear this. As, as Ashley's just like sitting over here, like watching oh. Hadrick put on the thing, and it like keeps on falling off, and he's trying to like keep it on. She just, and like, Jolene's cringing. Kit, mm -hmm. Just goes through a disguise kit, finds a little clasp, walks up, and pins it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The whole time there he's trying go. to put it on, so he's just... Oh. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna have the classic no capes discussion. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Unless there are jet turbines that I'm unaware of that we'll be dealing yeah, with. I don't think so it's right jet turbines in Barovia. Let have, me you tell you. Seen, have you seen the art of, of Ashley that's been going out? Capes and battle skirts, man. Those are what I'm all about. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Yolene's got my battle skirt going what, on. Uh, Hadric got my cape going on. Let's go. What color? What color is the cape? Uh, uh, it's a red velvet cape. Oh, 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 so bad. You look so good, boy. Oh. Uh, you know, there's probably enough material on that curtain to make like two capes, like secondary capes. Yeah. So what you're saying is I could be wearing two capes. <laughs> Ew! That ruins it. <laughs> Uh, is anyone does anyone want to want that torch? Because I'm gonna grab it if they don't. I well, like mean, I'm, I... I'm guessing I'm guessing that he's more wearing like like a cloak right now because I had to pin it. Hmm. Okay, well I'm taking the torch then. Nobody protested. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm fucking. What should I name you? <laughs> You're naming the cape. Naming no, the he's naming cape? the spear. Oh, the spear. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say if you named the cape. Something I dragon. Named the cape. Winterwood. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm going to go outside my normal season convention, and I'm gonna name this thing Dragonfall. Actually, that is my, yeah! that is my season oh. convention. That is my season convention. Fucking, I didn't have to change anything. I wonder, what you have to, I wonder what you have to do to get rid of that spear. Dragonfall. Yeah, it, it's going into Xanthric is what's happening to this spear. <laughs> yes! Hell yeah. All things must return to whence they came. Oh shit. Stab. <laughs> Fucking stabs him just when he returns the spear to him. He's just like, for each gift. Ooh. 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 Uh -uh. <laughs> Guys, the short bow's actually a lot better for me than the hand crossbows. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm proficient with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I wasn't proficient with the hand crossbows. Why did you have them? Because they're cool, and I was I was a monster. I started this thing out thinking I was going to be Ashley, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Blood Hunter Ashley. Well, I mean, I had the wooden, I had the wooden stake, I had the clasps, I had the holy water, I had the silver uh, rapier. <laughs> I got a goddamn. Logan, spear. what did you name the spear? Dragonfall. I love that name. I know. That's real good. Heckin', all your weapons have the coolest names in the world. I'm so upset. It's like, what'd you name it? Dragonfall. Jolie and Jolene like takes a step back. Oh, really? It's because it's because he didn't <laughs> oh, like shit. it's because he didn't like dragons. Jo it's not because of I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> she just turns the turns away from him like. Hmm. You like oh, I don't know if I'm inclined to believe you. You stomp away I mean, angrily, trip over something, and Patrick's like, ah, Dragonfall. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Well You're played. You're lucky I'm too depressed to notice you guys talking about Jolene being a dragon. <laughs> no, right? We just say it fucking, like, so candidly now. Just like, yeah, okay. fucking, she's a I mean, it's so, whatever. No one needs so, to keep it a secret. So, uh, yeah. Gryer, you haven't... talked about Grier, it. Gryer, you haven't taken the cheap jewelry. Like, at least all I of took, it. I took... I did. I took one of them. Then take then the other it one. Let me it won't let me. What? Well, I guess I guess we know where that I, must go. I just dragged Sounds it in and like... I counted it up to two. Oh, God damn you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I can't drag the second one in. All right. So, uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, who wants to take the rations? Who wants to take food that Xanthric was carrying? Loose I guess nuts. I'll carry, uh, I guess I'll put my rations from three to four. <laughs> Not touching that shit. Uh, did yeah, somebody no. did somebody take the thieves' tools? Mm -mm. Uh, I was no. thinking that Gryer would just have an extra, and if he taught one of us to be a to be a thief, he'd just hand it over to us. Yeah. I guess you should take the thieves' tools, Gryer. Fucking yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, does anybody not have a tinder box? I'm sorry that I'm taking control of this. We just need to get through this inventory. No yeah. word. Uh, no, anybody... I got one. Everybody has one. I believe I have one. Yeah. I got one. You're not playing, you fuck! Um, said everybody. All right. Okay. We're, we don't need the backpack. Is it, I assume we all have bed rolls. <laughs> yep. Does anybody the not? The only thing here, the only thing here that people re might really want is either the mess kit or the servants' clothes. Does anybody want the servants' clothes? No. I'm good. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anybody want the mess kit? I guess no. I'll take the mess kit because it's for cooking. Okay. I, I have my own. I have a question. Can I have all of his gold? Uh, all of his gold? I think... <laughs> I think that should be distributed equally. Probably. I think that... Okay, there's five of us, and there's a hundred... I didn't get anything! So, I didn't... Uh, 
fucking you know, bullshit. This isn't a fucking treasure no, chest, no, Carrie. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Devin. He never wore the servant's clothes. I don't want him. <laughs> okay, them. let's let's each take twenty gold. All right. I will give my twenty gold to Devin because I have four hundred and something gold. Oh my god! I don't need your charity. And actually. that is your choice. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want it, whatever. I mean. I mean I can I just give know. you one of the thieves' tools. <laughs> you want a thieves' tools? Okay. I can give it to you. I think I'm, ha we've... I'm handing, the, tw I'm handing the, 20, the 20 gold to Devin. <laughs> Alright, I think, I think we've... In that case, I think we've settled all of Xanthric's belongings. What's left, uh, we could probably just, like, leave to the side. I mean, there's, a tender box. there's a nice tinder box right here and a bunch of flammable things. Yeah, we can we can just put... Let's, for, right. now, for now, let's put it all in the backpack and just put it to the side. And if we on the way out, if we decide we want it, we can take it. Yeah. Nice. Maybe fine. if we find somebody along the way who's uh, like who doesn't have a water skin, we can hand them off to him. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rovia's here's some basic place. adventuring things. Go on. Um. Has right. everyone marked off the gold that they've taken from the pile? Uh, yes. uh, I have no. I've, I put it in my inventory. I, I'm I'm good. Right. Yeah. I put it in okay. My... Okay. I think it's if everybody's want... taken. Everybody's taken twenty Spring. except. Ashley share went to Devin. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, you just go to your, your inventory. Yeah, I changed it. I got it. Cool, cool. She's got it. So there's a I got left it. over. Thank you. She can have the eight gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight gold. <laughs> just hand yeah. it off hand it off to hand it off to Devin. <laughs> um In that case, shall we Devin slowly yeah. becoming the Vexalia of this group. <laughs> slowly. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Again, I have 438 gold and I don't care, so... <laughs> I, shut up, I like buying them, okay? I don't need I need to buy arrows, man. <laughs> Fuck you, I like stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking, I love how ASMR this mic is. Let's listen to this. Oh, oh that's yeah. that so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, shh, shh, shh. Listen, it's hard for me to DM with an erection, right? <laughs> <laughs> Simmer. Oh, Stop. Nice. All right, enough of that. All right. Uh, <laughs> um. All right. So, shall we try to brave outside our bubble and uh, head upstairs and try to find Hadric a fourth weapon? Since this stays around for like eight hours, and we just spent about four hours for short rest, I'm just gonna have Ashley peek out and see if there's anything going on. Mm. I mean, you could have just shifted the dome. My yeah, goal. but like peeking out also gets to see over here and stuff. Peeking My out. Um, do you have a source of light? Only the torch would have gone out at this point. This is I have twelve. Uh, have another one. Uh, <laughs> no, I will peek out with a torch. <laughs> that had uh, just gave me. <laughs> you peeking out uh, a window, or are you going? I'm peeking out, out um, of the dome. Dome. Oh, uh, looking around the room. Shadows. Do we do there's a cool breeze coming in from up above. Can I hear anything like movement or anything? Only perception. My my meta goal for Hadric as of now is to make sure that in any conversation where you're like, what would he be summoned as in the Holy Grail War? The answer would be everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Uh there's a a very soft uh rhythmic set of uh, echoes that sounds like either distant footsteps or very silent footsteps, but... Can I tell which direction they're coming from? Uh, it's echoing, so it seems to be coming from Oh, uh, so, okay. Yeah. Could, be the, could be the revenants upstairs, or maybe something got in. Could be some wolfy boys. <laughs> Kazan, check upstairs. Yes. I mean, he. what is he going to do? Report back to us? I can ask him a question when he comes back if he saw anybody clang, shake his clang, head. Clang, <laughs> clang, clang, clang. Oh, also, make, also make sure to come back. You. <laughs> clang, clang. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Not now! <laughs> Go upstairs, check what's up there, then come back! I hate you. <laughs> Additionally, secondary order. Understand that I hate you. 
so he's know it. looking around at the, about halfway up the stairs. Oh. All the way, Kazan. All the way, Kazan! <laughs> it's very sad. <laughs> oh. He's just You up. know, Hadrick, I think you're on something about this. I hate you! <laughs> and he... I love how it like... <laughs> he disappears from sight. <sighs> we listen for the clangs and hope that he comes Dryer, back. Dryer, no! I keep what doing that, that thing I do for the where I control scroll to turn them. And I keep, I keep forgetting that we're not playing Digimon right now. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> I just love Hadrick's Cryer. No! no! <laughs> when a large reduce goes wrong. Uh, after about three or four minutes, you hear the echoing clangs get louder. Um, I hate and... you. He appears. <laughs> if we were anywhere but Barovi, I would suggest you have more prudence with who you dislike. But it I suppose stands. it's okay. Kind yeah. of in, kind of out. Do you? Did you see anybody? Shake your head yet? Shake your uh, shake your head for no and nod for yes. It shakes its head. All right. Mm. Let's still be careful, but it doesn't look like anything's just roaming around. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. For the sake of brevity, can we assume that we try to make our way all the way up back to outside the Revenant's room door? Yep. And can you just tell us if we bump into anything on the way, Aaron? Me bring up. Nick. <clears throat> also, does it look like any of those um, things we put on the doors were moved at all, or? In the time, there's there? been no specific sound. If you check any of them, it just seem to have been touched. Okay, just one of the mixture. I don't know if they got some silent shit going on. Uh, what's the marching order going up? Um, Want to do usual? Usual. Right, yeah. Brian Hadrick. Uh, 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 Jolene will be behind Hadrick. Kill <laughs> um, uh. and Devin yep. are relatively inseparable. Uh. Yep. I'll pull up the rear with the gun. <laughs> he does not have a weapon, does he? Who? Kazan. Kazan? Kazan, take your sword out. Does he have a Kazan sword? Kazan has, it's like a rusted sword. Uh, he, oh, okay. I was thinking he just didn't have one. It's just like, Kazan, take your sword out and be ready. <laughs> he, he goes to like pull it out of its sheath and then he just takes it off of like the belt. And he's just holding a sword that's in the shield. Yep. You are such an asset, Kazan. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why we keep you around. Oh. Truly, we would be doomed if not for you. A more advanced construct than there never were. I'm just gonna say this. Him doing that actually does get the slightest of smiles out of Ashley. But it immediately <laughs> goes away. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, eh. <laughs> You can't kill Hadrick, so you've decided to fucking infuriate him with this goddamn suit of armor. Is that what this is? <laughs> my plan this is, has been revealed. This, this is no. my punishment. <laughs> um, oh, Strahd's plan. Hadrick is going to knock on the Revenant room door. Oh, I thought we were going to explore more. We are. Yeah, we're going to tell them that we're just might letting come them in. know. Okay. Um. Silence. So what I'm hearing is they don't want to be bothered. <laughs> They're either not in there or they are doing important undead people things. Do undead do business? I have no idea. I mean, huh. they just did. Business of death. Well, I suppose that's fair. Wow. Although the well, one who kind of was... listening to everybody talking. <laughs> the, the one who discussed uh, this situation with you, Hadrick, seemed a bit different than the others. Yeah, I don't know if the others are capable of speech, but if they are, they left it to him. I Based on what we. Them... Hmm? I'm sorry. I Based one of them did speak up, and he was the one that said like the responsibilities of the master or the whatever. Yeah. yeah. So they can't speak. I'm thinking if they don't want to be bothered right now, we shouldn't bother them. 
Agreed. That is perfectly fine with me. If we need to get through there, then we will eventually come back to and go through there. Right. You're right. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, you, did you make a custom ability? Um, I, I, I didn't yet. I mean, I didn't yet. <laughs> You're in the process of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that you have to take it down and put it back up, eh? <laughs> this reminds me, guys. <laughs> this, this is derailing entirely. Did you guys see that that thing I put on Twitter about that comment I got? Mm hmm No. Not, not you. <laughs> Fucking, do you guys see the person who responded to me in my own comments section accusing me of not reading the description of my own video? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no? What? what? But I, I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this for long, but uh, basically there was a person who... Um, they thought that something witty, uh, like, completely made the UBW series, um, because, mm -hmm. because, uh, you guys are in it as characters, and I just, you know, told them that that wasn't the case, because I don't want people to think that you're not working on sword art, and also, you know, team differentiation. They responded yeah. back to me being like, you don't read descriptions, do you? It says in the description that both of them are involved in uh, playing characters in this, and I was just sitting there being like, you clearly didn't read my name. <laughs> I responded back to them, letting them know, um, being like, okay, so I'm not a coming at you here, but I wrote the description, um, and then I just, like, was like, I appreciate your comment from earlier, but, you know, different teams and such. I went, I, I, I screen capped it, I put it on Twitter, which I'm glad I did, because I, I have a whole folder of favorite comments that I've gotten from over the years. Um, hmm. I went back and checked later, and they removed their comment after I pointed out who I was. So... <laughs> <laughs> It was just. <laughs> oh. I love the idea of someone just being like, "Fucking noob, pay attention." <laughs> <laughs> it's oh so funny to me. Uh, but I digress. Mm -hmm. Um, there's okay. So we have one, two, three, four options for where we could go right now. We have down here. Whichever one's the safest. We have up here. <laughs> We have Your through here. Make things very difficult. So I don't know this map, but I have a feeling that this is a hallway. Um, just based let's, off its placement. Let's not. Perhaps. Perhaps. Hadrick will go ahead. Also, Hadrick. Kind of see what's this way. Hadrick is going to sneak as best he can. Um, Roll stop. Ba -ba -ba, and he's just gonna like put his hand up for you guys to just stay back briefly. I think I have disadvantage on that, don't I? Mm -hmm. Uh, you have, uh, the chance. Oh. Don't worry about it. it, would, it really I'm gonna check over here, guys. Be really quiet. Clang, clang, clang. clang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you see, Hadrick? You, all of a sudden, like, the clasp on his little- on his cloak falls off and Clyde um, is like, ah, oh, shit! But yeah, <laughs> gonna, knowing fully well that I am not going to be sneaking past anybody, uh, I'm going to just go forward and look through this broken wall section. Do we- do we want to sneak? I mean... I'm, it's too late now! You guys, He's done his you job! Guys, I, put my, I put my hand up for you guys to stay behind. You guys aren't even moving currently. Well, that's um, I'm stuck behind people. So you- you yeah. start just- uh, finish clarifying. You don't have disadvantage on stealth. Uh, you go up and look around the corner. Yeah. Uh, did you bring the torch with you, or are you just kind of looking in low light? I'll assume I have my torch out right now, and in place of my shield. That's uh, why. That's why you roll so low on stuff. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> oh, that. there's a curtain Ooh. there. It's slightly torn, but it's blocking light from passing in. You see, it passes into another room. Um, and how far does that light go? It does light? Oh, you get all the way through there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What happened in this hallway? Uh, you see parts of the ceiling have caved in. There seems to be ruined bits of debris falling into a bathtub over here. Um, um, may I ask, if the ceiling is caved in, if I look up, is there anything above it? Is there another like floor up above, or do I see like the sky up above? Uh, there's a gaping hole passing in through here. I think directly above here, you would see, uh, you would see sky. Okay, so oh, no. we're, we're either on the top floor or there's a, a floor above that is a very small area that's not over this. So that's good to know. Um, 
Yeah, so, you would recall seeing from outside there's one quite tall tower. Mm. Um, so you'd know that's out there. Uh, and then probably battlements. So, guys. Okay, so I'm going to turn around having not seen any creatures or what have you. And there's a whole mess of broken walls and such this way. It looks like something collapsed quite a long time ago. But we should be safe to walk across here if we want to. Okay. Oh, whoops. Nope. Also, let's assume Hadrick has Grey Winter in his other hand. Uh, if does Jolene, are you okay with carrying the torch like usual? Yeah, I don't. I'm, just, I'm not carrying anything else. I can, I can take care of your torch. Thank you. Here you go. Are we going in there? Or? I. What do you guys think? Oh, whatever the group wants to do. I'm trapped by armor, Kitty, and, and Devin. You're <laughs> right, you are. <laughs> I'm trapped by an emotionless fucking reservoir of steel armor, a kitty, and Kazan. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I also, I don't know. Is she wearing steel armor? No. 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 I more just mean the very. She has a very. She has a very cold exterior. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She a big old bitch. <laughs> but we love her. It's we stand true. a queen. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, peek around here. I'm gonna Someone take him. Wants to give me a light. I'm gonna go here. All right, if you wanna go down there, uh, Hadrick will come with you, and he'll Hooray. usher for uh, usher for Jolene to to stay by so that you can see properly. I mean, she's not like going anywhere without Hadrick right now. She's I mean, you, <gasps> not having this. Oh, it's a oh. super! It's a cool throne. <gasps> uh, the room itself is about fifty feet long. And about Ooh. 30 feet wide. It's most of it's crumbled. Um, there are weapons and shields that once hung from the wall, scattered over the floor and are rusted over. Um, there is a large uh, wooden throne. It's back facing away from you. Um, parts of it carved to resemble a dragon with its unfolding wings coming up. Uh, it's facing three tall windows. Mm. Um, I see. In theory, and slumped down in the throne is yes. a. Uh, Can I say I was figure? Let him finish. Um, with okay. a uh, single gauntlet, you can see extended wrapped around the hilt of a great sword. Thanos. <gasps> oh. Hadrick, go. It's Thanos. <laughs> it's your time. Grier. What? I need can you I, to investigate I, that throne. Can I? Can I be stealthing? Can I roll a stealth check or something for this? Uh, I mean, the light's there, so he knows something's here, but oh, well, you can shit. try and move quietly if you want. Is, is the thing alive? Uh, it doesn't seem to be moving. We need oh, to investigate. Oh, please do we... be careful! It has a, it Devin. Has a great sword. Devin! Devin! House, yeah? I, I, I... We found something in this room! Come here! Oh. I don't know what they're gonna do! Oh. We should go with them, Devin. We can't split off into even groups anymore. <laughs> you go first. Actually... Devin's Devin gonna stealth. look at Ashley. Guys, and she's gonna her hand. guys, one at a time. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to stealth closer and get a better look at him. Okay. okay. Uh, where do you wanna move to? Uh, not there. Uh, kind of like, where would I have a good angle on him? Like here, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's a long back. If you wanna see his face, yeah. like. Not his face. I just wanna get a better look at what he's holding and see if he's like, if he looks kind of like what we've seen before with the other revenants. Yeah, like, like right here, maybe. There. Yeah, roll me stealth. Okay, good thing I have my luck back. I'm gonna use that luck oh! now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh, god. Good thing there's a mechanic for luck because uh, you're actually. There we go. Bow, 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 bow. You uh, you <laughs> come low. <laughs> Uh, you move silently. You take a very, very strong care not to knock any rubble over as you move throughout the dimmer light as you get towards the farther end of the torch. Um, the figure itself is um, slumped back. Uh, one hand, the great sword's like stabbed down towards the floor. Um, it, uh, it, it seems to be moving ever so slightly. Like breathing or? Not breathing, just every once in a while you see its arm move slightly. It is a great sword. I know. I don't know what to do. Stay cool. 
I can't wait till we until we try to assassinate the revenant again. <laughs> Does the great sword look like? It doesn't look like the other weapons we've seen. No, it's a around. big sword. Yeah, it look, does it look and, like pristine and shit? Uh, I wouldn't say pristine, but it looks menacing. You yeah. wouldn't want to get hit by it. Cryer. <laughs> <laughs> How are things going over there? Oh my god, do you, do you want me to message him? I can do that. I mean, he might, he's not the, I mean... Can I sneak Cryer. back using that same stealth check? <laughs> Can I go back using the same stealth? Uh, more oh. stealth again. Roll stealth again. Mm -hmm. okay, Don't carry it up. <laughs> oh, oh. Carry it up, man. I don't want to use my luck for that. I as, kind of don't uh, want to use my luck for that. As you get back, you have a kind of a moment of, okay, away from that, and a piece of the rubble kind of falls up from under one of your uh, talons and kind of skips down and towards the, um, the being from across the room. You hear this deep growling, go away. All right. Maybe we should listen to him. No, if, if, he, if he's sentient, then I have no, no intention of stealing from him. Yeah, we should, oh. we should keep going. Just, you know. uh, Hadrick just very, as he like slings away, he's like, we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't find the others. Some people might be trying to invade this castle soon. You may want to keep an eye out for them. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I have no intention of fucking with any revenants. <laughs> oh. Like I like fighting, but fucking we we've Not we've really been taught good. our lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh, remembering the thing. Ah! I, I'm just I'm in the meta, I'm just remembering, you know, a treasure is in the dragon's house. It lies yep. in hands once clean and now corrupted. Yep. We, we we know he's there. Now that we know he's there, we can come back. Come back. He's not <laughs> going. He's he, if he's not attacking us, then you know there's no reason to label him with final boss just yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for her. Who knows? Maybe we'll find like an AK-47 in one of these rooms, and we can just take oh. him in the chair. <laughs> what a treasure! I didn't. When I was looking at him, I didn't. I didn't get a look at his face at all, right? No, his his back was too. Oh, Would have got okay. maybe the side of his head, but in the shadows and everything around him, I mean, he looks like a revenant, as best you could tell. He's a shadow. All right. Uh, before we move down the hallway. Um, Devin's gonna like uh, look at Ashley, and she's gonna take her hand. But like, it's not the same way she did before. What it was like, fucking. Let's go kill ourselves. Yeah, cupped and dragging her around the place. It's like it's like fingers laced and more gentle and sympathetic. Oh, I ship it. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I just keep imagining because like I heard you say like takes hand before we had to stop earlier. I just imagine like almost the entire time that one SpongeBob episode. <laughs> where, like, they burn the Krabby Patty, and Spongebob's like, I know you didn't like him, but it means so much you came. Oh, the one where Squidward <laughs> wants to eat Krabby Patties? Yeah, so, like, yeah. it's like Xanthor. It's like, I know you didn't like him, but it feels so good. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm gonna... With, assuming Jolene follows... Oh, my God, Oh, yeah! Thing. There's a curtain. We should probably catch up. Um, there, as you yeah, we should. Started, what are you and Briar going? Um, Briar, we'll get a we'll wait for you guys to catch up. Oh, oh yeah, that's the other. That's okay, so now we gotta ah, up. it's a descending staircase. Ah, okay. This would have been if we came in this way originally. You know, it's funny. If he'd gone on the other side, he wouldn't have died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god! What if he okay? But what if he went like I come in here, ran around here, and then tried to attack this guy? <laughs> I I'm just he saying. He is in a dragon chair. I'm just saying. That, 
How dare you? I'm just saying that the world's funny that way. <laughs> no, fucking Izzy's all like, uh, fucking, that's not the way the dragon went. He was chasing the dragon. The DM led him to his death. <laughs> the DM didn't tell you to kick open the first door. <laughs> that reaction is still, like, one of my favorites from Aaron. It's just like, um, okay. Yes! <laughs> right, well, we found the way down, so... How about this open door? Oh, oh yeah, how okay. about that? Uh, looking out into the night as you're standing kind of on that precipice at the edge. You... Oh, shit. As soon as the torchlight comes in. Oh. Uh, this one, featureless stone. Um, bits of supports falling away, parts of crumbling down. And a spider! Uh, no! No spiders. Oh, well, no spiders of a size that you'd be concerned with. That's right. So no, um, so no I'm, spiders I'm is what to say. <laughs> there are many spiders of a size Jolene would be. Jolene's <laughs> 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 just like fireball, fireball, like the kind that is the spider size. <laughs> does it, guys, does it seem like something just took a bite out of the side of this castle at some point? Uh, you know, or, you I know. don't like to think of possibilities. I'm not, I don't. Like I don't mean like literally fire. a bite. I just mean something just took this side of the castle and left. Yes, like I might have an idea what. Big old dragon. Dragon. Big old vampire. Why would, why would a dragon attack his own place? Well, I'm talking about the dragon. I know, but I'm saying for everyone else. I'm gonna mm -hmm. open this door. Slowly. If there's a, and if there's a fireplace in this room, I immediately fire at it. <laughs> there's, a fire. there's a fireplace. I fire, fire at it. Uh, cross fire, fire, what cross it we fire at it. Guys. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm firing a bolt into it to see if anything reacts. Oh. Um, just clatters against it, mm -hmm. falls into the uh, bit of soot, ash, and debris. Um, uh, the chamber itself is collapsed. The, the floor here is mostly wood with bits of stone exposed from the destruction. Uh, falls away into the foggy, smoky abyss. It's like almost a, uh, think, industrial London thickness beneath. Oh. I'm gonna, I'd like to go over and retrieve my bolt. Yep. Nice. Oh, Patrick, do be careful. The only reason I'm firing at these things is just like, it's not meta, it's just we've encountered several fireplaces that have attacked yeah. us in this place. Mm -hmm. It's fair. All right. It's it like looks... to think that you did that, and it clanged against the fireplace, and you hear from the other room, "Go away! Go away! <laughs> Stop bothering! Don't bother me while I'm in my chair." <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, all right. Check out those. So, what's over here then? I guess. You want to lead this one up, Grier? Yeah, sure. I'll stay behind you, you with Jolene. Give me a light. Oh. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just, I'm just, assume, I'm just assuming Ashley just, like I'm just assuming broken. Ashley's just letting herself be led by Devin. <laughs> oh, just Derek is going up. <gasps> There's oh, more. Up. We shouldn't. I'm thinking that we shouldn't do that just yet, though. Yeah, Wait. let's just finish this floor okay. and then keep moving. I imagine. Yeah. Okay. That's probably mm -hmm. what that is too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back into that other room to figure out what that room is. Well, there's a door right here for for the room that right well, next to Grier. Grier, will you do the honors? Do the honors of what? Of the door right there. There's that, a door. The door right there. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't will see it. Will you do the honors there? of what? Points to the door. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. How have we survived this long? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna open it. Actually, I'm gonna listen first. I'm gonna see if there's anything inside that so I can hear. Roll me perception. <laughs> nice. Um, you hear like small little, almost like pitter pats. Um, you, uh, it, it, it like, it gets slightly louder and then quiet. Uh, it's no, there's no rhythm to it. It's not a consistent sound. It's maybe once every 12, 15 seconds, and then it'll be eight the next one, and then it'll be 30, 40. Well, I don't like, care. How long do you want to listen? Okay, can I, like, creak the door open and see what I see inside? 
Uh, you open the door, you can see... To a see... 40 foot tall giant fire breathing dragon. You can see <laughs> that far without, um, without a torch, uh, brought to bear. Uh, nothing in sight. Uh, is Jolene's torch not oh, yeah. out? She's over here. You're on the opening of the crack, so that light's not gonna go in yeah. very well. That's, mm. that's fair. Um, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn to Adric, Jolene. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, quietly close it back. Um, be like... Why, what the fuck? Who's turning Grier? Sorry. What's that? <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to scale my map and it went over Grier and just yeah. <laughs> I just I feel like I start looking around. Where are you guys? <laughs> Hadrick's just spinning Grier. <laughs> Hadrick, where are you? Over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Sorry. Say again, Eric. I heard something moving in there. Did it sound human? Did it sound to you? It didn't sound human, right? Yeah, it was very small sound. It like, you like barely heard it. It sounded like something small. Then we don't have to open the door, right? I mean, if we're trying to see what's around, then... Yeah. We should check it inside. Sound, it didn't sound like there were a lot of things in there. Just one. Yeah, but one thing can lead to another. I... I digress. It, it makes sense to go through here. Just have you just be ready to hit. Are you guys are you guys back there like hanging back there or are you kind of like with us? What's going on there? <laughs> we're, we're we're with you. You're just bite you know. me, bite me. Brian I mean, just are, looks are, around everyone. Are you guys like taking this adventuring thing seriously or what? I mean, like what do you guys do? Whatever. It's not like what like one of the dudes who was in our party when we split the party is like dead and you guys are still being super clicky about it or whatever. <laughs> you yeah. have the ability to follow <laughs> us. Fine. You're the you're, you're the ones making it a click thing fine. at this point. No, it's fine. It's whatever. And fuck you, yeah. Kazan. <laughs> It makes sense, their team whines, so why wouldn't they whine about it? Uh. Uh. You're right, we are team whine. No, that was- that was Brett, not Jolene! Jolene is a bit more- I remember specifically waiting for you guys to catch the fuck up. Yeah. And you were like, oh, I guess we should! You're right, it's all, you're right, it's all our fault. <laughs> By the way, Devin, why do you have oh. a, a concentration damage thing on you? Is that Hunter's Mark? Uh, yeah. I should expend after a roll. Oh, that's our old one. Get rid of that. Oh, okay. All right, we should. By the way, I, I'm, the reason I'm having animated armor like looking this way is because I just imagined as they're walking through ashes, like just watch our back, so he's like walking backwards. <laughs> All right, let's get into this room. Okay. Let's. Uh, he just kind of like turns to turns to Devin and. And Ashley, I'll, and I'll go but... behind Gryer, I guess, because if something attacks, I can attack it in long range. Yeah, he, oh. he, he turns. To, he turns to Devin and Ash. Did you? Are you? Are we pretending that they had heard all that, or were they still behind? We were. That? We heard. We had heard. Okay. Yeah, right. You guys weren't being quiet, and this carries. Well, I was trying to be somewhat quiet, but. Mm. Well, we'll well, I'm not. All right, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Open that door. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna creak it open and like. No, just open it. Oh, Kick it I'm in. Not, I'm not well going down the same road Zedric did. <laughs> or, or Cherry. I ever know. <laughs> Doors are just a problem in D and D. Let's never open any of them. It's All right. The walls in the room are wood for the first three feet. Uh, above that, there are different murals of. <laughs> Um, oh. people performing holy rites. Um, there's a <laughs> tattered curtain on one side that hangs towards we what you know, the uh, courtyard on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are three tall stained glass windows uh, depicting figures in white robes with uh, orange sunrises uh, behind their heads. Does it look similar to the imagery we've seen of, like, the Morning Lord and all that? It's pale. Uh, or... oh. Roll me general intelligence to see if you remember, because you would have seen some of these in specific places. Mm -hmm. uh, intelligence, you said? Yeah, just flat intelligence. Uh, okay, uh, fucking hell yeah. We don't have that here. Uh, intelligence! Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Then all that. Uh, you got, um... 
looking from the north one to the south ones, you see, uh, you recognize the first one. Uh, the you saw it at the church in Valaki uh, before it got burned. Uh, there was many depictions of this one, Saint Andrew. Uh and the middle one you've seen all over the place. That one you're fairly sure is the Morning Lord. Okay, um, it's a uh, it's a fairly common depiction. And then the other one uh, you saw one other time, and that was at the Abbey. And we have no idea what that is. What does it look like again? Uh, it's a person. It's uh, like a person in white robes. They seem to be de uh, doing some sort of holy rite, and there's a uh, orange sun behind their head. Okay. Uh, yeah, and there's nothing else in here that I can see? There is, um, from the ceiling, there are a couple cracks here and there, and every once in a while, like, parts of it will fall down and clatter on the ground. But like someone stepping on it clattering around, or...? Just where time. I'm coming in. Yeah, go for it. I was gonna let you go in front of me. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Uh, there's no light or anything shining through the, the windows, is there? No. Okay. It's just solid. You can't see through them or anything. You can see through them, but it's stained glass, so it's kind of like that. You put your face right up to it, and you can kind of see the other side. Yeah, like a fishbowl, kind of. Yeah. I'm a, if I'm you did your best one. look through. Oh! Yeah, what through. do we see looking at them? You, uh... I just kidnapped, uh, Hedrick for some reason. There we go. Um, oh, shit. Don't do that. This you isn't Digimon. People shouldn't be getting kidnapped. The inside of, um... The... It's you! Uh, Thank you. Where you fought the original reference. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Man. So, doesn't look like there's a lot left here. There's the throne that I sat on. Ah. Yeah, that's true. Right yeah. here. Quick, go sit on the other oh. throne that we know of. Well, right. I'm, I'm sure he'll be cool with that. <laughs> Where, um. It would seem there's not actually a whole lot on this floor of the castle. So do we go up or uh, out? I think we should go up. On the other not, side. Not just yet. No, yeah, we, we still got There's over still there. That one, yeah. Right. We're going to do it. We're Being do on it. the third floor, this is around the height where you remember seeing that person. <sighs> over here? Oh. oh. You remember seeing what? I saw a person. A man. person walking down. Oh. Yeah, yeah I saw a person. Uh, you have a torch in your off hand, so you can... Uh, jo Jolene's got my torch. I've, yeah, I've got it! it. I'm just them. behind him, like... <laughs> I'm gonna stay with the kitty, and with the Devon, and with the armor, until I'm, they move. I'm heading oh. this way, group. We should all probably stay together. <laughs> Please don't leave us. For okay. my family. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Goes upstairs. Ashley, no! <laughs> Goodbye, Ashley. I have your hand. I'm <laughs> lovingly holding your hand, Ashley. <laughs> I should keeping you from doing what? stupid things like that. Going to cautious, <laughs> going to cautiously open this door and step inside, look around, see if there's any revenants present. Nothing immediately present as the light fills the room. Uh, it is a haven for dust and cobwebs. Um, <laughs> the no. uh, windows on the right side. Um, yeah, I think you're right. There are uh, almost like arrow slits. Hmm. Um, the, um, there's bare oak shelves along the walls, and there's a padded chair that's been torn and destroyed, um, lying over on its side, uh, near this big hearth. Like, it seems like this would be, uh, a study or a master bedroom. Uh, there's a picture above the mantelpiece that's been slashed. Uh, the lower half is kind of hanging slightly under the frame, like a, a torn piece of skin that's kind of not fully been removed. Um, and uh, in the south corner of the west wall, uh, there's an iron door hanging open on a single hinge. Um, that's what you see in here. I'm going to walk over and investigate this. Oh, Hadrian. Okay. Let's go in. Grier. What do we got in here? What? What? I heard someone say Grier. 
Yeah, like, go ahead and, yeah. Oh, okay. Fucking move me. Are those cases? <laughs> Chests? Oh, uh, they I were. Them behind. Um, yeah. Most of them look destroyed. Uh, it seems like this room was forcibly entered into. Uh, there's um, a couple vases here and there that seem like they were shattered and several empty chests. <coughs> Shut up on an axe! You said there was a picture in here? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> just above the fireplace. Part of it's slashed and it's kind of dangling off the side. Can All I right. attempt to use mending on it? Yep. Um, I, would, I would like to use mending on it. All right. Um, as you cast it and you kind of bring it up, it slowly starts sealing itself. Um, the yeah. let's just call it. Professional the picture itself pride. slowly coalesces together. It shows the mansion. Uh, in uh, better days, it's under clear winter skies. There's snow-capped mountaintops off in the background, and the top of uh, the tower uh, over the chapel is glowing uh, like this bright beacon. Um, as you finish casting Mending, and it seals itself, uh, it flashes this brilliant silver light, and this ethereal uh, spectral silver dragon crawls out of the painting. Oh, shit! <laughs> circles around, filling most of the space in the room as it turns Oh, shit, what? It's it's a grim a voice. Dragon? It is a... Uh, it's, it, it's like a translucent, uh, but distinctly silver dragon. Um, it uh, looks to you and says, My skull lies in the fortress of my enemy, displayed in a place of ill omen. Return my skull to its rightful crypt, and my spirit will shine here forever, bringing hope to this dark land. Uh-huh. 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 I found some broken chests in here. <laughs> Is Ashley the only one who sees that? Oh, everyone saw that. Don't leave just, like, aggressively tapping Hadrick on the shoulder, like, I choose to believe that Hadrick. Oh my. I mean, he was in the other room. <laughs> yeah. oh he pops no. up. What was that? It was a oh dragon, my. and he came I... out, and he was so beautiful, and he was. <sighs> and, like Jolene's trying oh. not to cry because she's so Patrick's eyes excited. just like open slightly, suddenly realizing, okay, what I'm about to say is going to sound kind of bad, but so begins the it's age of us exactly. no longer having to freak out when the word dragon comes up as soon as, oh, like, I know, as, soon as hadrick so as soon as hadrick said like okay this is gonna sound bad like ashley's just like it's really good xanthric wasn't here there's a gust of wind <laughs> oh uh apparently from nowhere the room picks up almost uh it's it's gentle but it's stronger than it should be for something indoors uh and a single piece of paper flutters off of um, the top of one of the shelves and lands in front of you, actually. <gasps> oh. I cast Eldritch Blast at. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, secrets. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing you just got a picture. Oh, so no, so no one else saw this. Mm-hmm. Nope, you yeah. picked it up. Secret, secret, secret. I mean, it's not gonna, us. it's not gonna remain secret because I'm, I'm I already told Hadrick there's no secrets. So, <laughs> my knights have fallen and this land is lost. The armies of my enemy will not be stopped by sword or spell, yes. claw or fang. Today I will die, not avenging those who have fallen, but defending that which I love, this valley, this home and the ideals of the Order of the Silver Dragon. Mm. The evil surrounds me. The time has come to throw off this guise and show those heathens my true fearsome form. Let it spark terror in their hearts. Let them tell the stories of the dark, of the dark triumph again. The dark? Dank? Of the Billinock Mountains. Sorry, the, repeat repeat that last part. The Balanock? Balanock Mountains? The Dark mm-hmm. Triumph of the Balanock Mountains? Against the yeah. protection. Uh, against the protection of the Balanock Mountains. Mm. I see. 
And where's Strahd's castle? Not in the mountains, right? No. But isn't the uh, shrine in the mountains? The the thing we're not supposed to go to yet? Oh. Let Argon Ruth be remembered as a dragon of honor and valor. My one regret is that my remains will not uh, will not lie in their rightful places in the hollowed ma mausoleum of the this place that we're in because I remember that it had a Holt at the end, but I don't know how to say it. Argen Vost Holt. Argen Vost Holt. Yeah. No doubt my bones will be scattered among my enemies like the coins of a plundered horde, trophies of a hard-won victory. I do not fear death. Though my body will die, my spirit will live on. Thank you. Let it serve as a beacon of light again in the darkness. Hmm. Let it bring hope to a land wrought with despair. Hmm. Now to battle. Signed, A. Alright. Have we heard the name of the dragon that lives here? Yep. He... I, I think did he just no. He one of you reads know. one of you reads draconic. I think it was Jolene coming in. The name Argon Vost hold literally mean Argon Vost's hold. Yeah, we've been so written on a, a couple as things. in Argon Vost. Okay. It also said. Argenvost. It sounds to me like it may, might be worth our time to get back his remains <clears throat> and take him to that crypt outside. Oh, of course. When the spirit showed itself before us, it said something about its skull laying in the laying in the hold of his enemy. And it also said uh, something about a beacon of hope, which this land desperately needs. Maybe. And where... maybe so other effects it, will... So its skull might be in the mountains then, yeah? Mm. Who, he didn't say who his enemy was specifically. I'm sensing we have, he... We can yeah. perhaps ask the revenants here? Mm. Mm-hmm. Might be strong. I don't know how that one is going to be in the chair over there. I mean, I can show them. I can show them this this letter. <laughs> and, and if they know, serve Argon Vost and we pay due respect, then it shouldn't be a problem. We could show them the picture. She like motions up to the picture that she that she mended. Mm hmm. Worth a shot, I guess. Oh, poor dragon. Doesn't go, doesn't go wrong. In the meantime, there's a door. We have Had to you go. know? Oh, yeah, there's a door there. I, I want to check that out. I like opening scamper, doors. Scamper, scamper, scamper. <laughs> scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. <gasps> Empty room. <gasps> um, there are uh, rich drapes faded by time. Um, hide the windows of an otherwise empty room. <clears throat> oh, seems to be no furniture at all. There's slight scuffs visible in the floor where it seems like um, uh, there might have been something dragging. I'm going to pocket the note, by the way. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm thinking that there's nothing in here for us to investigate. This, this is the room that he was looking at. <gasps> there's stuff to investigate. <laughs> oh, is the room oh Hadric! I'd like to, I'd like to investigate to see if uh, there's anything I'm missing in here. Like, just look around, move the curtains one by one. Uh, roll me... Um... Roll me investigation. Yay, I'm bad at those. Uh, both of you in the oh, zero. Oh, shit. Do it with advantage because Jolene is there. Yay. Oh. You're welcome. Cool. So I'll just roll that again and get another. <laughs> if... That's, That's bad. better. That's not yeah. bad. The grooves that are inlaid in the floor, it looks like um, uh, you would recognize immediately, yeah. Jolene. Uh, they look like grooves made by the claws of a dragon. <gasps> these Ooh. these markings on the floor they um uh, I know that right we size. know that there's a dragon here but about the size of how the dragon would be at this age and all of that and it looks hmm. like he was here maybe he stayed in this room when he was alive maybe interesting something hmm. tells me he tended to shift seeing as Dragon claws aren't always the best thing to write letters with. Hm. And also the size of this castle in general. The hallways oh, be yes, pretty hard course. to traverse for a dragon. Oh, and dragons transform all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, they take many a form. Mm. You know where I think we should go. <laughs> oh no, uh, where might that be, Hadric? Oh, Hadric! Where I was thinking we should go, <laughs> <laughs> Hadric. <laughs> Yep. We have one more. We have 
uh, two more rooms that we need to look into, and okay. we have some revenants to any, talk to. Is there any way to... The picture here is is, is, is big, right? Very large yes, picture. it is uh, it's spanning the entire fireplace. Okay, it's... yeah, so there's no way to actually bring it and show people. Hmm. She'll just come walking out having the note in her hand, like, I have a note. <laughs> How's Kazan doing? Come on, Kazan. Fine, fine. <laughs> We're gonna... Fine. I'm gonna open this these doors slowly. As you reach in to open the doors, um... Uh, Monty. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, look at that boy! I don't like change! Oh no, he's hot! Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> you pull up in the carriage to a shadowy, imposing, uh, what appears to be some sort of fort, uh, along with your current uh compatriots compatriots <gasps> why? Why? Uh, let me Sorry. put you down on the other map i'm just going to share that again in case you don't have um <clears throat> on the sucks you can't right? get in <laughs> yeah all right get fucked you guys yeah <laughs> i blocked that fucking door good <laughs> Monty of this Kinshin. Monty of what? Kin and... is it Kinshin? I think. <laughs> I was thinking it was Kinshan. Kinshan? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, those in the chat think... saying they can't see. I can't see Izzy's side. That's not a thing I can do. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <you're> <sighs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> Brian's so fucking excited. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Oh, that's another one. I don't uh, know. I need... I don't. It's a new yeah. character. Hello. <laughs> Can we get the other map again? Yep. I just got to get all the associated people who would be here. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Indeed. This and call. I've still oh. got the most health Ooh. in the party. I was going to say, I was going to be like, look at that HP. That's Remember, you still have the Remember most health in the party. Remember, Kazan, if oh, anyone doing? comes in... Yeah, I do, Cryer. I was just wondering. I didn't know if that had changed. I know what you were getting at. <laughs> oh! Why is Strahd on the combo? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Like okay! Worry about. Uh... <laughs> oh! Oh! Good thing we... Good thing we bolted that door. And put a thing in front of it. <laughs> That'll that'll well, keep him out. It will. <laughs> Instantly. Is there is new character is strong? Oh, just... oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Hold no. on, I'm back. What's happening? I heard Strahd. What's going on? Look at the map, Brett. Look at the map. <laughs> Which map? The, map? map tracker. the new one. <gasps> I don't have a new map yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn bread down. Really share it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Um. <laughs> Strahd turns away from you and looks to um, uh, Rahadim. You you'd have been introduced at this point. Um, huh? and he just kind of points off towards the south, and Rahadim walks away nonchalantly in the darkness. As he passes you, the screaming fills your, like, the inside of your skull ever so briefly until he gets about 15 feet away from you and it fades. <sighs> Fuck that guy, am I right? <laughs> we can't see any of it, right? Yeah. No, we're, no. Yeah, we're like, in the yeah, middle of the house. There's no you way. guys are upstairs about to talk to a bunch of revenants. <laughs> we're three floors up. <laughs> I thought you were going this the angle of like we open the door. There he is. Oh, <laughs> I was so feeling that too. Izzy's now playing the revenant that fucking killed him. <laughs> oh my god. That'd How be poetic. Weirdly it's metal. Not I mean, he was a paladin. I don't oh. think I'm not. He may I'm ever so have been. sorry for the distraction, my friend. Um, but 
there's something going on that begs my attention. Uh, make yourself comfortable. I think there are some people you would enjoy around. Uh, one moment. And he starts walking towards the door. Uh, as you guys open the door, uh, you see several of the revenants all react. Uh, let me... I gotta get both maps going here. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh god, there's action happening on multiple maps. Ooh, I'm shaking. This oh, is the turn man. I did not expect. I'm so excited for the death. Do we have to kill another one of Izzy's characters? Let's fucking do it. So soon after he got introduced. Why is your character seem to die? Oh, Jesus. I have really bad luck sometimes. Apparently. Immediately ah. fell over under the window. Well, he's been charmed by Strahd, and we know what our group's opinion of such things is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I wanted to be nice to your new character. I really wanted to. But then you came in like this. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he turns back to you, and he's like, are you coming? Oh, oh. Do not order me around, demon. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, a, like a wry smile creeps across his face as he turns and he starts to open the door and it makes contact with a glowing... <laughs> what color is it, Ashley? Uh, it is pink, like it always is. <laughs> Although, I it's a little boarded. bit of a duller... It's a little bit of a duller pink, but it's pink. Oh, <laughs> okay. Did we not bar it first and then do that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right, so it's locked, too. <laughs> Get fucked, Strahd! <laughs> yeah, you big sucker! Yeah, y'all ain't got shit! <laughs> Don't turn into bats and fly in the upper f store. The <laughs> oh, that's a really real thing he can do. Oh, he's no! getting in. I'm aware of that, but I'm I'm enjoying this brief period where we <laughs> kind of are keeping him a momentary victory over Strahd. Yeah. We at least have him jostle the door, and he's like, "Oh," and we're like, "Yes, we made him go." Oh. <laughs> he waves. Um, he waves one hand over the front of the door, and this loud knocking sound comes from it. Um, no, you no. hear it echoing throughout the building. No one invited, oh. um, no one invited you in. And uh, he uh, he opens the door, and then he, without stepping inside, it bumps into it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he waves his hand a second time. Uh, fuck, what Strahd. level? What level is... it's level 3? No, it's it's invulnerable is what it it's is. It's level 20 is what it is. <laughs> this thing is a level a, 20. I cast it as a ritual at... Um, at uh, 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 ritual uh, spells can only be cast at the regular it was, level. It was third level. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I think that is... It's flat roll. So what I'm thinking, okay. Ashley, is we shatter the ground on top of him and cause the floor yes. to collapse onto Strahd. <laughs> yes. That is. I, I like this plan. We don't know he's there. Oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. these guys know he's there. And yeah, they can and, tell us. And we just heard a knock spell happen. Dun, 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 it is third level. Dun, 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 third level or lower when the target ends. Ooh. Fucking come at me. I'm so scared. It's great. <laughs> you think you can beat my magical prowess? Oh, it just can. ends. Yeah. I have the um, podcast. He, he waves one hand and the uh, the dome dematerializes. Oh, 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 uh, he turns back to you, Monty. If you would be so kind. <laughs> Yes. I would just like you to go and allow me inside. I could find another way, but this <laughs> expedites things. Um, <laughs> you're more than free to refuse. <laughs> then I shall. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagine him walk in, look back, flip him off like I invite you in. 
fucking he just out of walks the in, <laughs> walks five feet in, and just puts his hand out to the side, and the Dark Souls like, what now? <laughs> <laughs> Fireballs, your castle explodes. <laughs> What's the height of this floor? Oh, I do not understand was why. There, was the refusal to let him in or to go in himself? To He's refusing to go in and let him in. Um, I just like, it's like, you right. came all this way. I opened the door for you. I got rid of the bubble. Now go in. No! <laughs> He told you that somebody started coming here, no! Yeah. Fuck you! I continue to tell you on the way here, no! Strahd turns into a small swarm of vets and vanishes. There he goes! Well, that's happening. That's the thing that he's doing. Well, right Izzy, now. now's your chance to run away and put this nightmare <laughs> behind you. <laughs> well, you still can, Monty! Oh. <laughs> uh. He doesn't really want to do what Strahd's telling him, but he also just drove him into the middle of nowhere and parked him in front of the castle. He doesn't have a lot of other options. Sure, you've been going for, like, three hours in that carriage. <laughs> yeah. What's your fucking deal? Why are you even with Strahd? What's I mean, now problem? that the, now don't, that Strahd's gone. Don't I don't, I don't yeah. think we need to probe the introductory element all that hard. I think we can just let that go. I know, but I want to know. <sighs> all right, so we... He hates himself a little bit, but he walks up to the castle. Now that he's sure Strahd is gone. I'm sure he is. <laughs> he's, he's gone dead. forever. He's dead. Yeah. Those bats yeah. got him. I'm gonna have he to was, deal with him ever again. He was so frustrated by what you told him, he just died. <laughs> he died into bats. He died into bats. <laughs> the bat larvae you that were hear... inside him ate him. Um... Breaking glass as you enter, Monty. Uh, the rest of you, as you open the door, see these two revenants leap from the windows. Oh. 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 Whoa. Um. Ah. Look. Hadrick snakes a step in. What he uh, regards back because of the knock he heard, he turns over to, uh, what was his name again? Godfrey. What happened? What was that? The devil is here. <gasps> What? Oh, this is gonna look real bad for me. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you have this handled? Is there any way we can help? No. Uh, two. Uh, he he seems passive about the entire ordeal. The other two are still fierce, looking at you. They're like red beads for eyes. Are um, locked on the party. Do Do we hear what he said on the in the hallway? Yeah, he's not being quiet. Godfrey, I have a question, and I forgive me if I'm overreaching. We came here. I think it's about time we talked. Hmm? I think it's about time we talked. He nods. He May raises I raises one hand and stands. Can I let this guy know the devil Strahd is here? <laughs> <laughs> we um. Which guy? Oh, that one over there. Yeah. Oh, you see him standing. Oh, okay. We as are. soon as as soon as she heard that this guy's here, she's like, "I need to let this guy know." <laughs> as you see a figure holding a great sword, I'll use him for now. Oh. Staring down. Oh, he, I think he's inside a little little box of gray that we can't see his token anymore. Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's a sliver of it. He's invisible. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. So, come. Go. And he uh, will attempt to walk past you. I will let him walk past me. Um, I'll also oh. motion for Jolene to move to yeah. the side. As he's walking, I'll just quickly fill him in on our basic history, just being like, since Strahd is here, I might as well make this quick. We're trying to build up resources so that we can fight back against him, either for the good of Barovia or ourselves. We were told there's something here that we could find that could help us resist him. He, uh, he says nothing as he continues walking. We also saw uh, a dragon. Towards the <laughs> we also saw door at the end of the hall. All right. Well, now that you know our, our now that you know our story, I will just assume that you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do. Here we go. Oh, Hadrick. Yes, we, we should all go with them. Yeah, okay. Calling out to this person. Whoa! Say, Devin and Jolene oh, no. emerged! 
We are one! They are, they are Dolene! The keys oh, no, are Dolene! Oh no, Ashley and Jolene have merged! I'm over here. Who was that then? Uh, Grier! Grier! <laughs> Grolene! <laughs> Um, now she's big. She's I just want to tell. I just want to tell this guy, even though he's already standing. I'm just gonna tell him oh. that uh, the de that the devil is that the, that the devil is here, and for him to watch himself. Um, As you go in and open your mouth, um, he uh, turns his grip on the great sword tightening. Uh, looking at you, he says, "If you have come to destroy me, know this." I perished defending this land from evil over four centuries ago, and because of my failure, I am forever doomed. You destroy this body, my spirit will find a new corpse to inhabit, and I will hunt you down. <gasps> you cannot free me from my damnation, nor would I wish it. If you have come to free this land from this creature that feasts on the blood of the innocent, know this, there is no monster I hate more than Stravon Zarovich. He slew Argon Vostal, broke the life of the knight I loved, and destroyed the valiant order to which I devoted my life. But Strahd has already died once. He can't be allowed to die again. Instead, he must suffer eternally in a hell of his own creation from which he can never escape. Whatever can be done to bring him misery and unrest, I will do. But I will destroy anyone who tries to end his torment. We just oh. want to go home. <laughs> We yeah. want to get out of here ourselves. I, I um, who's I think, there? I, who's down there? We need to. As this conversation is happening, I think Grier would have turned back and kind of waited. All mm. right. So you, uh, Kazan, and Ashley are there. We had just Hadric heard definitely from... is staying with Godfrey because he seems mm. urgent. We had just heard from a spirit of a, of the dragon that that owned this place, that his skull remained in his at his enemies at his enemies' lands. Do you know anything of that? Is his enemy Strahd? Strahd is all of our enemy. That's fair. Do you Leave. know if that is where he turns to the is? door? His attention focused on the window. He seems to be looking straight down. If he's coming in, then just keep yourself safe then. And she's just gonna turn away like that's all I can fucking do. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna tell him we're here to kill Strahd because he's gonna kill me, so... <laughs> I don't know where you're taking me, Godfrey, but I hope that there's a sword there. Right. She's, gonna, she's gonna see... Gonna catch up. She's gonna see I mean, Grier and she's gonna just, like, look back toward toward Kazan, like, let's go, Kazan. Hadric, right. Hadric will, um, as, as we get to the top of the stairs, Hadric will be like, where are you taking us? My order has fallen. We stand in a state of rot and decay the people you see me set with are losing their minds piece by piece I'm ashamed of what we are of what we've become maybe you can change that <coughs> and he starts walking on this door he produces a key from around his neck and unlocks the door ooh Oh, I hope Spicy. there's something cool in that room because some really cool music just started playing on my end. Hello, yeah. It's like oh, oh, fairy tale. The best thing about you is your music. You <laughs> suck a dick, sir. <laughs> All right, fairy tale. Your music is also it bad. Has very, very good music, but I also. <laughs> <laughs> he starts oh. walking in. Uh, Monty, what are you up to? God damn it! I'm gonna pee. <laughs> You stand in a broken hall. You see, you hear movement. You hear crashing glass, and you two dull thuds outside. Uh, and you hear uh, like a low, effective snarling sound as blades are being drawn. So first, I think I'm going to tentatively draw my weapon, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, let's let's continue onward. Just uh, see what's causing that commotion. Off in the distance, especially everyone up up the top, uh, you can hear it quite clearly because you're out in the open air now. You hear this, and then another, and then five, and then <clears throat> ten. Werewolves. <laughs> oh, Wolves of the Um, Godfrey starts walking up the spiral staircase. Follow, follow, follow. <laughs> 
following the leader, the leader, the leader. As you rise, I'll see you at the top, flies up. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to say something along those lines. <laughs> no, I'm not actually going to do that. But... Ah! Well, we reach the top. Oh. The, um, as you reach the upper landing, uh, he's standing there facing you. Will you save this land? Free these people. The best we can. Or are you here to save yourselves? Uh, no. Glad I'm not there, because I've been like, yes. <laughs> Were you not he, following? I was. Takes a step back and resting on the westernmost. Um, portion of this top uh, kind of slightly open to the air um, it's silhouette jammed down almost like it would have been impaled in the stone uh, is a handle directly in line with although blocked by a mountain uh, you know that is the direction Castle Ravenloft is and it is the handle of a sword I see this is the beacon of Argenbost Holt while well, he lived, it shone brightly and brought hope to the people of this land, and it now lies dark. What you see, the destruction and decay of this building was done once by Strahd. It will not survive another. What would you have us do? Take the sword and fight. <laughs> I'm the not silver sure. dragon doesn't die for no reason. <sighs> we exist in the state of stagnation, of death and undeath and repeating failure after failure. We are as tormented as he and we can't win. Maybe you can. When he was killed, Argon Vost was butchered. Pieces have been claimed. His skull resides somewhere in Castle Ravenloft. If you would do me one small favor and return it here, it would, it would leave me in your debt. <laughs> I'm not. I would do anything for people that need help here. And I firmly believe in focusing on the good. But if it means all that, and if it means taking up for your order, that seems like a job for a more important man than me. I... <laughs> there is no other. One of you may take the sword. But it must be one who would use it to strike down evil. Patrick, remember Patrick. the <laughs> Take it's... the sword. If there's anyone that should take it, it's you. <laughs> I'm just a guard, Jolene. That is just a title you are... More than that, yourself. You may have started as a guard, but on this journey, you've they will cease to you've be changed. Counted. Takes a step towards. Takes a step towards the blade. You may be just a guard. But that means you've sworn to defend people. A blade is simply doing the same thing, proactively. As you are a god, I am just a knight. Titles mean nothing in death. Just Looking you in the eyes, he, um... He softens for a moment. And you look like you know that more than anybody. The hand that is not outstretched, like, not reaching out towards the blade like rests upon Grey Winter and just rest upon the handle. <sighs> I'm 
if it means helping the people that are here. And it means making sure that nobody else among us dies. And I accept, I suppose. I'm not worthy of this, but maybe by the end I could find some reason to think that I was. If you aren't worthy, then make yourself worthy. He nods. He steps out of the way, standing right. The handle itself is upside down, the um, guard resting it flat against the windowsill. He takes it. It's very light. There's no blade. <laughs> oh. Oh my. A weapon without substance. Maybe this is something I should own. Would you strike evil? I would. What would you do if you saw Strahd von Zarevich right now? Whoa, hey there, Databits. What would I do? About this. If it meant protecting the people behind me, I would defend them in an instant. The um, cross guard from it extends a blade of light. Um, He's Gowry! Uh, almost of fire as it extends outwards. Um, the bits of it crackling off to the sides. It's shedding the light out for about 15 feet. It's the fur. And anyone at the top? This is the first time you felt like you've been standing in sunlight for uh, what, almost two weeks now. I was in the bathroom when we went to the top. Was there a reason only three of them could go, or could all of us have gone? We could have all gone, but because you didn't go anywhere, I didn't go anywhere. I, I was in the bathroom. I didn't know we were moving. I would have gone up. <laughs> <laughs> we we just seen that you've all, all fucking up there. <laughs> You Finding a mode of hesitation, you run to the top of the stairs. Hey. Um, <laughs> just in time to see Hadric holding a blade made of sunlight. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> For the first time, I feel like I found a single mode of light in this depressing land. Don't think I realized how hard I was looking for this. Looks to Godfrey, swings the sword to the side, causing the uh, the cape that he took from Xanthric to flutter, hopefully dramatically. Ooh, you oh, you majestic boy! Godfrey he and breaks off again, and the Franks falls. <laughs> what would you have us do? Point us in the right direction. Castle Ravenloft, one of the crypts, perhaps. Somewhere as a trophy, he keeps the skull of Argenvoss. Return that here, and I believe he will be able to assist us from beyond his grave. <laughs> we had planned to do that anyways. Will you, you be, will you be able to deal with the devil, or do you need assistance here? My revenants will fight and die. I will fight and die. We will rise again tomorrow. Then I hope you rise with renewed hope. We have no hope. Maybe you can change that. Well, aim to. Tell me. Points the blade. To not aggressively, but points it towards Godfrey. Does this have a name? We've taken to calling it the Sun Sword. Belonged to Strahd's brother. Long, <laughs> long time ago. Do you it's mind if I make it something else? Name it what you will. It serves its purpose. Then when I use it to cut down Strahd, he will feel the bite of the sunrise. Yeah. That's so cool! It's fucking solid, man. I'm gonna add this to your inventory. Fuck yeah, you are! Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, you oh, got I'm Logan. I don't want to be a big fucking deal in the game or anything. 
March, march, march. <laughs> Popcorn. He if he comes up, I'm ready to get my sword. <laughs> one leg oh, die. on the back of the, um... <laughs> Also, Bob, Water. I'm sorry, just imagine Monty coming up and just Hadrick walking down and being like, So you're the first opponent that I'll have to test this blade against. Holy shit. I've got no time for words. Come at me! Gah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you do it? Do I have it? Yep, it's in your inventory. Uh, right. No way. Go on, Aaron, you were trying to do a thing. You were all dripping. Godfrey. Uh, with one step back, brings his foot up on the sill that it was uh, standing on before him. I don't see it. Oh, longsword hilt. It's not identified. That's why. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yes. We're just gonna put this in the straw chat really quick. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute to load. <laughs> gonna go ahead and just. Go ahead. Actually, yeah. one second. Let everyone see what it looks like. Please. Ooh, yes! Picture. Give, 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 give. Ooh. Oh. Yes. That's real nice. Oh, <laughs> Patrick got that's no green. Sick. Standing in the window, so he unsheathes his sword. Till tomorrow. And he falls backwards as a swarm of bats comes up surrounding him, and it kind of recoils back from the light emitting from the blade as he plummets into the fog below. We need to go. Change that. <laughs> hey, wait, I wanted to get my arrow back. Got a shot at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Change this damage because I do an additional oh. plus two with one handed weapons, and I am good. <sighs> That's super fucking cool. That's real cool, man. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Fucking got myself. <laughs> got myself. Uh, got myself a side cape. Got myself a so lightsaber. <laughs> it really is a lightsaber. On the floor. Patrick got an upgrade. It's true. I'm so oh, happy yes. for him. As, uh, as you spend a few moments with it, you feel a weird, excited wrath um, almost channeling through you as you're holding the blade. <laughs> yes, Cara? I was going to say, uh, you said there were bats? Yes. Uh... Did, did, did they, did, are they gone? They plummeted with him. They came up and they seemed to be attacking him as he jumped out the window. Oh. Uh, and they got into the light shed by the blade. They recoiled back and chased him down into the fog. I'm going right. to unequip a couple of my weapons here. Monty! <laughs> yes! You hear combat outside. <laughs> Outside? Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I mean, he's still—he's on the second floor now. Yep. Oh, um, like a combat, like uh, in front of the castle or above me? Or? Uh, non-distinct. It's muted because you are up a floor and the doors open, so you hear kind of echoing throughout. Um, but you hear the clashing of swords. Oof. Okay. Um, I guess I'll run up. You think maybe it's on the roof? Moon, uh, bring up the map. There we go, my map was hiding from me. That's my DM's map. Oh, wrong one. There we go. You're up on the second floor. So you're heading towards the stairwells? Uh, yes. Yeah. Alright. Go over there. You, uh,. Running up the stairs as you get to the top, you see doors open beside you. Um, uh, you hear as you crest the top uh, two uh, crunches of broken glass. Um, as you run by, you see the figures of two undead looking figures leaping out of the window. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Oh, this is happening like as we were talking about. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. There's the, there was four altogether. Two stayed, and then after a while, they effectively got impatient and went to join the combat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. If those undead just jumped out the window, I I, I guess I'll keep going up. Yep. I'll move you over. <laughs> You're floating yeah. around. One second, let me drag you. I'm gonna Where be honest. Go? The first thing I want to do with this goddamn sword is kill Kazan, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be you just there. Hold it up next to him and he starts melting a little bit, and you're like, I can do it. <laughs> just walk by him. <laughs> runs past the place where Xanthric died. <laughs> hey, you made it further than you made it last time, Izzy. <laughs> hey! hey! Oh, so pretty. Yeah, it's like just seeing these things jump through a glass window, grip my uh, my weapon a little bit tighter and keep going. Go fight like for some reason. Wrong. As you go by, you're like, I feel accomplished. Does he does he sense the other guy? The other one? Yeah. Not a sound coming from that room. Oh. <clears throat> uh, you run this up those just stairs one or two. to <laughs> to, <laughs> to the upper loft. So you come out there, uh, and you come face to face. Alright, where are you going? What the fuck? <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? What How are you, you doing? doing? What's she doing, fool? <clears throat> oh Get my god. This game. I love D&D. <laughs> 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 <Don't let go. laughs> I love it when tokens Sorry. don't go to the right place. <laughs> it's the best. I'm so giddy and excited. Oh shit. Ah, oh, dang it! What? Nice of you to finally join me. <gasps> I made it! <laughs> oh! What Where game is are you playing? He's on the roof. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey guys, let's start heading back down. La 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 la. <laughs> Why have you brought me here, demon? What game are you playing at? I didn't bring you here. You just are a, an extra treat, if you will. Sometimes um, the best part of a baker's dozen. He reaches down and begins unsheathing his sword. Oh, I feel one of Well, goodbye, Izzy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's Bye. been Bye. fun. So Izzy number three next week? Tune in to Strahd. <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Should I, uh, should I roll like a will check to see if, uh, I actually do it this time, Aaron, or? Ah, uh, you do whatever you'd like to do, my friend. Oh! Let's see. Take that as a hint. Oh, Monty! Oh, oh Monty. Was that your first well, roll? Welcome yeah, to that's my oh, first your first roll Monty. is Monty! A sign of better things to come. <laughs> or an omen, who's to say? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so I will take that to mean that uh, Monty like his grip tightens on uh, on his on his weapon, his his gigantic hammer. Ooh! But he can't quite bring himself to come at Straw because reasons. From everything he's experienced before, he has a general idea of just how outclassed he is. <clears throat> Seems you know that you have no chance yet. Mm. Well, I suppose you can struggle and survive, and maybe one day you can muster up the courage to actually try and hit me. Xanthric. He hates himself right now. Xanthric mm -hmm. is still in our party sheet, and Monty is not there. That's I fucking mean, hilarious. He hasn't, he hasn't met the party yet, so yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, then, fucking Izzy doesn't have a party sheet then. Thinks he gets to join the party. We don't even know him. Get him out of here. We don't even We're know him. We see some paladin fighting Strahd. Like, hey, a distraction. Let's leave. Hey, man. Mark my words, Strahd. I will not allow your evil to continue forever. I will not be able to keep hurting these poor people for your sick games. He starts walking towards you. Oh, fuck. Oh. Kiss him. 
<laughs> it's true. <laughs> 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 I love you, Eric. All this <laughs> I, have a, I have a question, Aaron. Mm -hmm. If we do start going down the stairs, I notice that there are windows and things that would lead down to looking down here. Will we see anything? Uh, if you were to look directly out the window, yeah, it's... How high There's are you up? Right there? You're, it's too dark. There's also a tower kind of blocking, isn't it? I mean, we're in this tower. You guys oh, are in, in the tower. tower. Yeah. Oh, we're in that. That's you're the here. Yeah. At the top of that. Looking down, that's... Yeah, that's... You're, too high up there would be kind of a wreathed in blackness so from where you're at currently you might be able to hear it because like as soon as it. like there was bats and shit and do went back yeah. flipping into the darkness I'm, I'm pretty sure ashley started going back down so <laughs> with Jolene. yeah like, after we got nope. the sword and he names it he probably oh, started heading down okay rolled another will Oh, so Everybody ready to see Strahd and Hadrick in the same place? We gonna put this to bed? <laughs> All of a no. sudden, you just stay here, like, I'm yeah, good. let's 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 do it. <laughs> Hadrick, Strahd's down there. Oh yeah, you should. We should go. I'll go last. <laughs> gonna, gonna wait until you guys are here to do something. <laughs> I have no Says Monty to there. himself somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I in, that, in that I mean, case, Monty does, I mean Monty does know there was uh, there were people here, right? I don't know. Yeah, because Strahd said he? whenever he showed up, like there's some people that you'll like here or something. By the way, oh, yeah, that's... assuming I have any control over it, obviously Hadrick, he's gonna keep holding the blade like underneath mm -hmm. his cape, but he's not gonna have like the sword on. Mm -hmm. All right. As uh, as you all come through the front. Of that, uh, Strahd's going to make two attacks. <laughs> oh, You're fucking dead, man! This is the first person <laughs> he's ever actually attacked. Yeah! Why, why does he give a fuck? Normally he doesn't we'll want to guess we'll find out one day. Oh, Patrick, scoot over! We Maybe want it's because Monty be shit-talking. I mean, Devin was shit-talking him, though. Was she? What did she yeah. say? Oh, oh, she shot him with two arrows and shit, yeah. That's the, the, the shit talking. That's the shit talking. <laughs> Monty, my boy. Oh, oh my. And right. then, uh, he, so he brings his blade up and just drags it along the exposed part of your arm. Um, and then he snaps in and he's gonna try and bite you. Oh! <gasps> let him fucking let him! Where's your bite? Oh, shit. oh Jesus Christ! Oh, no, is he? he what is happening right now? He can't do it. He had oh. to have grappled you, so oh. he's gonna reach out and grapple you. <laughs> <laughs> he had to have grappled you, so he does. Make an athletics check. Come on, or acrobatics. Let's acrobatics. Oh, fucking favorite. Don't you fucking Carrie, dare die, you. new healer. Hey, shut up! I thought I was a healer. <laughs> Strahd um, reaches up and grabs your maul and just drags you in slowly. Oh. You put up almost enough force, you feel like he's not getting the ground, and then you start sliding as the leather Reveal parts your of your grape along the busted stone of the roof. Oh my god. Oh my god. Patrick like gets popcorn. Numb. I was gonna say, does Patrick see any of this? I'm, yeah. Since At we're this doing, point, you... since we're doing something involving turn order, I'm I'm guessing that you know I can't just be like I intervene. No. And uh, this button's make sure all those ones are invisible. Also, he important. says he wants us to see something, so I'm waiting to see the something. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know if the something's been derailed. I have no I have no way of knowing that. <laughs> Me neither. I. Just tell me when I can do something, and I want to do something. Do whatever you'd like. Do He's, uh, so I can all see it. That's, that's Strahd's turn. So I, I hope that something is casting Meteor Swarm. Fucking <laughs> 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 Starfall! Oh, can you cast Wish? Yeah. I wish there was no Strahd. Choke <laughs> on you, a Max Shoei and ain't Rebel Wizard. <laughs> I wish there was no Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I love that sound effect. <laughs> Fucking so much. Yeah. Alright. So, um, as uh, Strahd is uh, dragging me in, 
I, want, I think the stress of that will make me activate Radiant Soul. <gasps> oh, do it, baby. Oh, shit. Freaking. My oh. eyes just start like glowing gold and luminous wings spread from my back. Oh, <gasps> did you say gold? Oh, I, know. Hey. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, I feel like you know more than I'm you. fucking foaming at the mouth. <laughs> 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 he's he's you an asshole. Rise slightly off of the ground God, as he's I trying to ass. pull you in. <laughs> uh, let me apply grapple to you. He does have you. I wish there was chat. I wish there was no Strahd. Hadrick disappears. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, you activate your radiant soul. Uh, don't think that takes an action to check. <clears throat> Good thing I can't see um, this. Uh, it is your action. Do you have anything else you want to do? Um, let's see. Bonus actions. Do I have any? I don't actually know if I do have bonus actions. Mm. Uh, okay. What you reacting to, Brad? What's up? I saw you measuring the distance. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm going to do something dumb here in a minute. Oh, no. I'm excited. I hope this is the day That's Hadrick dies. No! <laughs> you just got that sword! <laughs> I know. You're not allowed be, to die. It'd be perfect. The perfect subversion. <laughs> I swear um, to goodness, we will revive you and I will kill him. No, you won't. No, man. TPK. Fucking, he's gonna start bleeding Shadow and fly off to the south. With the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually think there's anything I can do as a You're all done? Alright. Yeah. Well. Uh, initiative puts it at Jolene. Is there what anything you'd that? like to do, Jolene? Oh. I have not run on initiative at this point. Can I pass through the space that uh, Hadrick's occupying? Yes, it takes. I'm gonna uh, it's move myself. Terrain. I'm gonna move myself onto a normal space here. Yeah, Perfect. let's set up our half spaces. We're all on. All right, I'm gonna move here. Uh, hi, Strahd. Um, I've never seen you before, but I can assume who you are. <laughs> yeah, you see a now like it's slightly off of the ground, golden-eyed, <clears throat> angel-winged, uh, what appears to be a knight. Uh, being gripped firmly at the hand to... by Strahd. That one's Strahd. The, the angel-winged one, that one's Strahd. <laughs> Get him! Don't let him fool you, Jolene! Do not worry, Jolene is fully aware that Monty is in the area. <laughs> 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 and with that, she's going to, uh, hopefully, on the diagonal line, cast Lightning Bolt. Oh, <laughs> Are we so really mean. doing this? What? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know! <laughs> I love casting lightning bolt. This is a great Never one. Mind. Do it! Fucking do don't it! Do it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Don't so you can hit him without hitting uh, without hitting Monty. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna what? cast dragon. Why? Why? Just FYI, no, if no, you cast dragon what breath, we're gonna do. Let, let, do it, wait, man. did you just say you're gonna cast dragon breath on Hadric? He's not gonna use it. Yeah. That's fair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. Lightning bolt. All right, sunrise. Lie. All right, sunrise. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> like... Oh my god. I don't know. I just feel like it's a bad idea. Yeah, lightning bolt him. Just lightning bolt him. If I lightning bolt him, he's gonna kill me. Ridiculous. Do it. <laughs> but if I dragon breath, right, Patrick dragon said. breaths him, that'll be different. You know what? I'm gonna commit. I said I was gonna lightning bolt him, so I'm gonna lightning. He's trying to eat an angel. We need to stop him. <laughs> he's That's partly her reasoning. He just barely succeeds. Ah. That's fine. You should still Do get I half still damage, shouldn't you? Oh, he takes half damage, damage cool. yeah. Um, this is fine. I'm and the lightning strikes him, hitting the steel of his pauldron oh, okay. and then racking through his body. His head slowly kind of turns. <clears throat> As he looks over the back of his shoulder. And with the rest of her movement, she does a cute one of these. La 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 la. <laughs> 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 oh, she knows her place.
Why she's a glass cannon. Is that your turn? Cannon. Yes, yes, yes. Is Start that, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there. Oh! Well, Jolene, you were the hero that we needed. Not the hero we deserved. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. She just walks up, snaps her neck, goes back to Monty. <laughs> What have I done? He's just like, just a moment. It's like, hold on for one moment. Why did I say yeah. I do that? E excuse oh. me for but a moment. <laughs> Where were we? Listen. So, all right. Uh, as the lightning racks through him, he, without turning all the way to, uh, says, out to the just world. Will that hurt, Jolene? <gasps> He does that. Yeah, he does that. Okay, thank you for letting me know he does that. I think I'll have to have something make me feel better, and he's gonna go in to bite you. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry, Monty, I don't know who you are, but I feel bad. So you start like pull them in, and that's that one. Oh, let me double check something here. It's a melee weapon attack, and you're grappled, so it's advantage. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a hit. Hello. Oh, hello and goodbye, Monty. He like actually sinks his teeth into this angel, and as you see this blackness appear as life starts being pulled out of um, this paladin, uh, your hit point maximum is reduced. Um, <sighs> having a good day, is he? Like forever. And he discards Discard. you. Oh. Oh. Um. And oh. then he's going to start walking over to the group. Oh, oh good. Are we still behind the door? Did we come out or? I mean, right I now mean, you're we're, behind we're the door. We're all gonna come out. If you like to come out. I'm ask, asking like Ashley because we're holding hands. Like what would we do? Ah, oh, so he has a game. Oh, I'm going Every in. game I'm will like... now feature Izzy's new character being introduced and dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every new game. Hi, guys. Roll! <laughs> See, he, he brings one gloved hand up and wipes a bit of blood off the side of his face as uh, some of the burns from the lightning start to heal over. Oh, my God. Hmm. Uh. What does he say? Good evening. Hello, Str Hello, Strahd. What brings you here? Just checking up to see how you were all feeling about the dinner invitation. We were making some preparations. Yes, take your time, by all means. It's nice to see you, Hadrick. Nods to him. Have you been well? Oh, very. <laughs> I've made a new friend. He turns and gestures towards the... Um, now drained looking person on the ground. He doesn't much care for me, but I make do. Would that be a recent resident, or have you had him here for a while? Ah, uh, he's a recent catch. I believe he came here looking for you. What? The people of wherever you lot are from. Um seem to be concerned that whatever they sent you here for is taking so long. So I they... told you I was famous! I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I like... So they sent an angel to come find us. And <laughs> some friends, but they've been indisposed. So he is an angel. In that case. Oh. Do you intend to kill him? Oh! No, no. Not now. Maybe one day. <sighs> well then. Is there a certain time you'd like to see us by, Strahd? I'd hate to be rude. Whatever you fancy, really. I'm... I'm, uh... I'm never in a rush, but... I would like to speak in a more... kind of gestures to the... bats fluttering about and the debris around. It's like a more... civilized setting. Indeed. I would say we'll send word ahead whenever we're headed to your castle, but I have a feeling that you'll know ahead of time. It's possible. 
He's going to walk over and up past him. Jolene's gonna follow him. I this entire time that Hadrick and Strata have been talking, Grier's eyes have been like they've been definitely wider and he's his breathing is accelerated right now. Yeah, like dude. Devin's too. Her hand's like on her on her rapier. She's um, I'm getting Kazan right here. As yeah. you walk past Jolene, uh, you just hear this low chuckle. <sighs> Excellent spellcraft. What did he's, he say? Excellent spellcraft. Her cheeks turn a little pink. <laughs> he starts walking towards this blob. <gasps> Hello, Ashley. Fuck, I thought he was going to kill Kazan and I got excited. <laughs> Ashley's, Ashley's gonna look at him very confused looking but kind of steal herself a bit Devin who hurt you who hurt me I mean Jolene just now but shakes her I head forgive her. that's not what I mean who <laughs> hurt you <laughs> Hadrick oh. fucking stops <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, you are a treat. Is, uh, is your friend present? You seem to be missing one. Oh. The woman! <laughs> Did she like you? <laughs> no. Where is Xanthric? The friend Ashley? that brought you in when you were unconscious. Is he still alive? I'm... I'm sorry, I don't follow. He stares at him. Are you... Are you beginning to remember things, Ashley? Oh. Oh. <laughs> looks to Ashley and back to Strahd. Yeah, look, looks to Ashley and Strahd, yeah. I wouldn't think about it too hard. You might learn something you'd rather not know. But I already know far more than I should know. A little more won't hurt. You'd be surprised how a little knowledge can change things. Then maybe you should stop asking about Xanthric before oh, you get hurt. Oh, believe me, I am very interested in where Xanthric is. I don't smell him. She pulls out the short bow. Please, Ashley. This isn't the time. It's a simple question, really. It's all I'd like to know. I'll leave you to your... whatever it is you're doing. Um... I've urgent business. Xanthric belongs to us. Don't you don't, go near him. I don't even think Xanthric belongs to me anymore. Hmm? Don't you go near him. Turns. Are you saying you're not responsible for what happened? Are you saying you don't know what happened? I'm saying he's the reason why I'm here. I don't know what he's gone and done, but I think he's played games with things beyond his understanding. So there's something at work here beyond you. Oh, yes. But I suppose if you don't know, then that's a conversation perhaps we'll have over dinner. And he uh, steps off of the side of the castle, and he starts walking down the side and of the wall. Falls to his death. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Flat. She's just she's not pointed the short bow at him like at all. She has it out, but she just kind of watches him leave. Yep. Just vertically turns ninety degrees and starts walking straight down oh. into the fog. I'm a turn to I'm a turn to Monty, and like assuming he's prone. Lean down over him, um, and inspect him. Is is Monty? Uh, Monty's still conscious, I assume. Still conscious, uh, bleeding from the neck, um, holding a large maul, 
uh, with a, I believe you have a sort of plate mail on, silver hair. Plate mail. And, uh, <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing that can be done for him. He's going to die. Piercing <laughs> eyes. <laughs> um, I'm Jolene's going to immediately, like, drop to her knees and, like, scoop up his head in her lap and, like, look up the Hadrick, like, Ugh. I'd Help! like I'd like to do a medicine check to uh try to see if I can stop his bleeding. Could um, um Grier, Ashley, and Devin and Kilala see the thing that went down between Strahd and Monty? Like Yep, yeah, you'd have had yeah. a clear view. Okay, through the door, okay, perfect, okay. Can I make that check? <laughs> yep. Uh roll me uh, medicine. Okay, well I didn't do a good job. <laughs> oh, I'm, you, not, uh, I'm not uh, really sure how to treat a vampire. Yeah. Can I Maybe if I you can assist him if you'd like. Do you want to roll it with advantage, Hedrick? Uh, sure. Rolling again. Since if you're propping that didn't, Monty up, <laughs> didn't do that much better. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's anything you could do for the wound uh, per se as of now, but it doesn't look life threatening. Uh, Ashley, you might be better for this. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Let the cleric do her job. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> would Hedrick? Would Hedrick know of Asimar? Um. Roll me. Uh, I was about to ask if I if I knew any stories about them mm-hmm. traveling around. Roll me Ar- Arcana with disadvantage, Hadrick, because since you work as a guard, you didn't see a lot of that. <laughs> disadvantage on a na- on a minus one roll. Let's do it. That's pretty good for what it was. <laughs> you can't quite place the name, but you know you've heard something for what this person is. I don't. I don't know anything about you. In other circumstances, it may be best to leave you. But given the situation, I think having an angel on our side would be useful. Are you alright? You're gonna actually I'm... roll history if you want to check. Okay, thank you. I've, uh, I've been better. <coughs> that was, um, yep, pretty no. brave, what you did there. I mean, what? luckily he said angel out loud, I... so that's good. So we were... <laughs> I feel like... When uh, when Jolene says something, like lo- wearily, like looks over to her and like eyes go wide because he recognizes her. Like, oh my god! Crap! <laughs> uh, I'm I'm terribly sorry, your 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 highness. Oh. Uh, I'm in a terrible state. Oh goodness! It, it's perfectly fine, sir, sir Knight. Um. Also, by the way, healing work. You, <laughs> you you know Jolene. Of course, I'm. I'm. I'm from Waterdeep. It's. It's very close to to Neverwinter. It's her family's exploits of tales of them have gone far and wide. Yes, Never. Uh, Neverwinter trades very often with Waterdeep. I see. What's your name? Die. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Stab. <laughs> I want I want Ashley just kind of heal up the heal up the bite mark at the very least. Yeah, it it closes a little bit. You see, it it persists a bit stubborn, but it the bleeding's definitely slowed. What's your name? Uh, friends call me uh, Monty. Mm. Monty. Uh, it's and what do people that aren't your friends call you? Hmm? You cut out. Oh. And what do people who aren't your friends call you? Also, Monty, honestly. I see. <laughs> well then, given the context, I, mean, if... I guess we're gonna call you Monty then. They say it less affectionately. <laughs> <laughs> My friends call me Monty. My enemies call me Monty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they really hate me. Montgomery. No, oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. I see. Oh god. <laughs> you gonna get full name, boy. No, please no. I, I hate my full name. I'm gonna he's gonna help you oh. up. Thank you. I uh, came here to rescue you, but seems I'm the one in need of rescue. <laughs> I wouldn't mm-hmm. say that any of us have been rescued. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm we didn't rescue you, you that... is what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not implying your incompetence at rescuing us. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking to you, Monty, because I'm not doing a good job. 
<laughs> I'm being very insulting, and I don't mean to be. <laughs> Hand out, I'm Hadrick Greywinter. Pleasure to meet you. And he takes his hand and bows a little. Aw. And of course, you must already know my name, but um, I'm Jolene Felicity Brioche, third princess of Neverwinter, the most beautiful lady in all the lands. He just immediately, like, kneels. You will address oh, her by her full know, name every time you say it. <laughs> yes. She oh, will my! Only, uh... <laughs> only answer to her full name. You will. She will only respond to her full name from you. Mm -hmm. I, Good to um... know. Th th thank you for the advice. Say it back. Say her name. I've already yeah. forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Been a fun adventure, Mon Comrie. I guess we'll be out. Roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> I made I have an eleven. Oh. <laughs> You've actually forgotten. <laughs> uh, you forgot. Jolene's gonna like put up a hand to the group and be like, "Please, I'm um, Sir Montgomery. Um, Monty, right? Thank uh, you. By all means. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jolene is suffice. I actually almost goes into a tirade of like what Jolene's actual name is, but shouldn't she stops? Yeah. Of what Jolene told her to say. <laughs> it just stops right now. Princess, never mind. Princess, <laughs> you, uh, you honor me, princess. In this land, um, princess and all must come together to you destroy adversity. You, you know, um, all that princessly stuff and all of that. And mm. she's, like, messing with her hair and, like, twisting and tugging at one lock, particularly in an anxious kind of tick motion. Devon no, is rolling her eyes. <laughs> Indeed, you are wise beyond your years. <laughs> no, I am... I, <laughs> well, wow. I, <laughs> I don't know if I would say that, Mr. Sir Monty. Uh, <laughs> All of this is going right over his head, by the way. <laughs> Steps forward, I'm Devon. Just Devon, that's it. Devon. Hi. He steps back. <laughs> you will address her by her full name as well. <laughs> Put out your hand to shake it. Yeah, I'll shake it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll shake hand. Pleasure to meet you. I'm gonna move over to the side, having helped you get up. Yeah. I can this get off my house, please. <laughs> this is Lala. She is everything. Be nice. Hadrick's she is gonna... quite wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Hadrick's going to excuse himself politely and walk over oh. to the edge and look out and be like, whenever you guys are done. Hadrick would be over here. Oh, no! He's not being sad. He's looking out at Barovia. I know. <laughs> this isn't like a mopey thing. This is a like we've got I a lot. This is like a we've got All a lot right. to do end of episode kind of thing. <laughs> cape fluttering in the wind. <laughs> Majestic creature. Does, does Monty have a cape? It looks um, like he does in his thing. Yeah, that's just. Stop. Would you say that's a cape? Oh, okay. Yeah, no? I think it's no cape. cape. Get in the way of my wings. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. kind of also it kind of also looks like a scarf, maybe. Yeah. Would you have yeah. looked? Yeah. Uh, no, it, it is it is it is coming off like the side, but in that case, it would be just like over one arm, like a mantle, which is kind okay. of exactly what I've kind of been describing as how to try to wear his as. So yeah. you know what, Monty? <laughs> there can only be one. Let's do this. You know what? Monty? <laughs> Let's have a fucking. Also, go. one is red and the other is blue. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, no, um, he's not wearing a cape or a mantle, like, I, but I, I, the scarf works. Mm, yeah. Yes. No cape? I don't know if I can go, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> cool. I don't know if I can continue being flustered by Actually. a man who's not wearing a cape. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna walk over here and see if there's still fighting going on. Uh, also see... during, like, oh, I was just gonna say, like, during, uh, during all of this, his angel wings have been, like, slowly over the course of a minute, just kind of blowing away like feather by feather. Oh. <gasps> Roll me perception with disadvantage. Uh, Damn you, disadvantage. Damn you, and always being on wisdom-based things. Bam. So, Grier and Ashley haven't said hi yet. Uh, it's hard to make out the bottom. You see two figures that don't look like they're moving. That's right, Devin. <laughs> okay. um, from sound, in general, you can hear um, there is combat, but it seems to be extending outwards. Hmm. Things like there's some of the tree line, which is farther off. You can all just barely hear the clattering of swords. Okay. Right, I was just gonna look to Monty. Are, are we still doing that thing? 
I mean, no, nope, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Grier's just gonna look to Monty. So, what are you doing here? How did you get in the fight with Strahd? Ah, uh, well. Monty looks to you. Is that a bird? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he he was told. I'm playing. Not Cockro was in the group. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm playing. He's not overly surprised. Um. Well, basically, all of what Strahd said was. Well, it was it was true. I I came here with a party to come and find you to see whether you were still alive or if you needed help or if there was a bigger threat than wolves in the area that the townspeople needed to be aware of. And uh, basically, as soon as I got here, the uh, that demon came and slaughtered my party. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, thank you. You said well. You said that you were from Waterdeep, not Neverwinter, as in you came to search for the party and not partic- My dad didn't send you, right? Uh, not as far as I know. I oh, I was you. simply doing my uh, duties in, in Waterdeep. When... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm currently on the run it, if you weren't aware. something funny, Devin. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> when, uh, I got, uh, I had a vision from Pelor that oh. someone, someone in, in Daggerford needed help. So I, I got there as fast as I could, um, from, you know, your employers that you were who I, I was sent to find, and so I set off. Well, uh... <clears throat> I'm sure that hopefully we'll all be glad you came. From Palor, here. does that mean you're a paladin? Yes, yes, in fact, I, I am a paladin of Pelor. Mm -hmm. Quite the accent you got there. <laughs> I'm trying, shut up. Oh! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not mocking the accent, I'm, mocking, I'm, I'm pointing out Pelor. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's the accent that's making you do it. I get you. Yeah. Hello. 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 Um, well, introductions are all in well. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other when we're not here. Because <laughs> yeah, she's we kind should of kinda looking kinda off and noticing Hadrick's here. not with the group. And it's like, I mean, oh, he, he would have. As, as you say that, Jolene, Ashley speaks up. Oh, so we're just going to take him with us? I, I mean... Don't Ashley see why not. Point. We don't know much about him. We just walked in on him fighting Strahd. Like, no offense, Monty, but we don't know you. We have I, no I... reason to believe the story you're telling us. Oh no, and I'm yeah. over there. Just... No, no, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Treachery is all over the place in, in Barovia. I do not blame you for not trusting me. Just, oh. Please, tell me, what, what can I do to verify things for you? Um... May we speak privately, Monty? As in the group, excluding you. Indeed. He just takes a bow and walks off. Uh, <laughs> like the opposite. And <laughs> just like uh, over here. Thank you. Walks over to Hadrick. <laughs> no, we'll get Hadrick to come back. We gotta get in the huddle and talk about shit. Uh, as, as soon as as soon as he like leaves, I'm just like, I can probably get him to talk with with using my bardic music. If he's telling a lie, then he'll find it hard to keep it from me. I okay. don't mean to stress this, but paladins are oftentimes very trustworthy, especially from Pelor. Again, he could just be lying. But he's I from Pelor. He grew angel wings. <laughs> I don't that mean doesn't... to be. Did, I am I the I'm... only one who saw that? <laughs> Was I don't a think mirage? that means anything. I know that I'm usually, you know, with you on things like this, Jolene, but I just find it hard to trust him right now. I have no qualms mm -hmm. with you making him talk, by all means. We shouldn't trust him ever... all right to be on our guard. If he agrees to listen to my music and talk to us afterwards, then I think that that should be fine. Okay, here's here's a question. What if he is lying? Well, we, I suppose we we'll have, have to... a real, We have a perfectly nice roof we could throw him off of. Mm -hmm. If he's lying, we'll deal with it. Yeah. We've overcome worse. Throws him off. He floats back up with his wings. 
I have rope, I can bind it. <laughs> wings that are by the way. Wings that are, wings that are by the way made of radiant energy. I have a I have a freaking knight that can grab him and jump off and suicide. Do it! <laughs> True. <laughs> I was talking about you, Hatch. I'm kidding. Oh, no, you were. <laughs> I was hoping. Oh, okay. That, that seems like her best plan. If you want to go with that, Ashley. The wings will, will have faded by this point. It's been. I will. Moment. I will just start walking over there, not really doing anything to confirm it, because she's still, you know, kind of out of it. But she'll keep walking. Gonna follow you. Don't Okay. Patrick's like, something's something's wrong. It seems like they made a decision without a secret vote. Hadrick, you all right? Patrick wants to inspect his sword since he has a private moment and <clears throat> mutter to himself like a crazy person. Good. <laughs> Who's a good sword? Who's a good? Who's a good? Sword? More along the lines of fucking taking it out and like without igniting the blade just like flipping it upside down and looking at it moving it around checking its weight and just muttering i came here looking for something that could affect magical creatures didn't really expect to find something like you <laughs> how's a blade like this supposed to make me more than just an average guard and how useful will you be against strahd as you say his name it you feel like a pulse of anger. <clears throat> Doesn't mm. feel like yours. Sunrise? Or. Is there another name that you'd like to go by, Blade? He, like, ignites the blade where he is, points it outwards. You got some kind of will of your own? And, uh. You get a, a brief, kind of happy feeling. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, if that will is one that gets angry when it hears Strahd, then I think we're in agreement. D ignites it, so you guys over there just see a flash of light and then it turning off. Right. What are you doing? <laughs> Hedrick, no, we could be about to kill a man! Get your ass over here! <laughs> he looks over, looks down to it, looks to it. I... I hope that you do prove to make me more than I am. Be nice to find some purpose. Puts it, puts his arm back under his cape, still holding the blade, walks over. I'm coming! I just wanted to ask, see what was going on down below. Is there anything going on down below? Things are dead. I'm sure they'll be fine soon. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Y'all are gross. <laughs> I would I would like to approach Monty and let him know uh basically what I want him to know. I want you to listen to a song. Alright. The full the full way through, you will pay as much attention as you can to it. Alright, um, You'll be relaxed, and you'll remain calm. He just, uh, Hadrick motions over to Grier and just, like, whispers, like, is he gonna try to trance him? If he's a paladin, he... He understands... All right. I... I don't... I have no, I have no idea what, the, what she's doing. Well, he can... She can try. <laughs> Any, uh, particular reason for this request? I just want to see if this will work, and afterwards, you can answer any questions we have for you, to the best of your ability. It's like, hmm, I can't help but feel, and you feel that you're not being quite honest with me. I've... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that clears that up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm not. I'm not being honest with you at all, but I'm you're going to listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you agreeing? Very well. If if that's what it takes to earn your trust, I'm um, sure I can. Hedrick puts his hands up. Ashley, can I talk to you for a second? I'm not. It's not about telling you not to do this. 
quick, do the thing you're about to do to Monty to have like I feel like he's lying. Hold hold hold, hold that hold that thought I guess. So you um are you about to try to sway the mind of a paladin? Well, I was going to see if he would listen to my songs. I know that there are some things that are immune to it, but I don't think that I don't think that the that the songs of the Fae would be easily disrupted, especially from what we know about this place. I'm <sighs> I mostly want to know if this will work because from what the church, the people of the church said, there are no gods protecting us right now. Well, his divine power might be one thing, but if he is angelic, that may also make his mind effectively impenetrable to your particular method. I'm not if saying is, don't. I'm not saying don't try. I'm just, you know. If he is, then I just I can't think of any way to really get him to tell the truth I'm just finding it really hard to what truth are you looking for I find it really hard to be optimistic right now is all I want to I want to make sure that he's not going to hurt us that's fair if it doesn't work then that's just something else I'm well she stops and then just I just want to try he nods puts his hand on your shoulder that said you need to chin up as soon as you can I know I know that a loss is hard to deal with but this land clearly has a way of beating people's spirits down we have to do everything we can to stay above that The last thing I'd no. hate to see is any of us to become bitter and resentful of others. You know, Hadger, I think that after this, I think that after this, I'm just going to stop trying. And that's where we're going to end game. Oh. Oh. Oh my. There she is. Welcome, Monty. Possibly. Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> As we fade out from our heroes, um, there is um, not a small distance away uh, a large uh, deer staring at the castle from the tree line. <laughs> It kind of tilts its head slightly and then gallops into the darkness. Whenever you said let's end right there, I was going to have dot 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 so hard, but I guess that's fine. You're going to stop trying dot 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 so hard is what I was going to like, Trying so hard is what I was going to say, but not, not, gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm going to stop trying altogether. Well. <laughs> Hadrick lifts you up, puts you over the castle wall, drops you. Well, I guess they're out. So, Monty, welcome to the group. Oh, I was gonna say trying so hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did the mic just cut oh. out? Or? No, I, no, I was Aaron pausing. Jumped Aaron jumped on it. I was pausing. I didn't want to. I didn't want to make it sound like I'm gonna stop trying. It was it juicy really and dramatic. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and so we're gonna go ahead and assume that you said trying so hard. Then <laughs> yeah, that's canon. If that's what you wanted to say, absolutely. Oh, the, it, it was the 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 other thing that I did was was more influential than the I'm gonna stop trying jumps off the side of. The <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just made it sound like so fucking suicidal. <laughs> oh, I'm just done, you know. <laughs> but no, she, uh, she was going to say I'm going to stop trying so hard. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that's its own conversation, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just... Oh. 
gonna stop trying so hard. <laughs> no. I'm gonna stop trying. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna stop trying. Kicks over. Kazan. She need out. Crow. I heard about the Nat 19 episode six getting lost. I coincidentally have an audio file of that entire stream. I can send it to you if you wish. Please do. Please. Uh, oh, the entire stream. Could you send that to um, uh, blazingazurecrow at gmail dot com? Would that be cool? Could you do that? Oh, yeah. Do that. That's my email for work things. I could... I don't have the original video anymore, even, which sucks, but I could just put it out as, like, a podcast and be like, bam, there. Because that's a important episode. Ah! Uh, hi, people at home! Hello! Hello. I, Hello! When I said I wanted a new weapon, I was very much in the mindset of like, I want like a plus one sword that can actually hit magic Dude, things. Like, you fucking have the sword of light from uh, Slayers. Yep, now I've... I've part, of me, part of me feels bad having renamed of oh, that kind of weapon, but another part of me is like, I fucking rename everything, so whatever, Sunrise. That's a Xanthric thing, man. It's no, it's so Xanthric, that's a Hadric good. thing. It's a Xanthric um, thing. <laughs> honestly... <laughs> you want to know something real dumb? What? I was gonna take Dragonfall, and if we found that, like, that little dust method that, uh, like, Lord uh. Hadrick up there, I was gonna kill it with it, and then just leave it pierced into the ground wherever we killed it, be like, there, that's what that one was. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes, a Google Drive link is fine, thank you. Revenge against the uh. dragon. Well, ha fucking... Yeah. Took one game no for Hadric's image to radically change. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go, guys. Okay. Bye. That's fair. We gotta go find the other. <laughs> Thank you for Bye. lying to Hadric. What? He's <laughs> saying he's more than a guard. Thank you. Bitch, I'll kill you. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. I will. Actually, you know what? You do have an idea, and that's why you're saying it. Because you're mean. <laughs> Awful. Um, we have Andrew guests. A lot of weapons? That's buddy, unreasonable. But buddy and Chase both showed up while we are doing this, so we uh, we should end the stream and tend to our guests. Yes. Yeah. They've wandered off. Audio twist, everyone. Bye. Bye. Reminder that this week's D&D game for Digimon is going to be slightly later. Goodbye. And Oh, oh, go uh, ahead, go thing. ahead, go ahead. Uh, For Honor has a starter thing that's free on, on Steam right now, so go get it, even though it's probably not very good. But hey, free game. Hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.